Hello there, everybody. Oh, that was that was a horrible everybody. Hold on. Hello there, everybody. This is No Name One One Seven Spore, and today uh, I just need to double check something. Hold on. Steam is on the right side. I'm gonna exit out of Steam. Uh, yeah. Today I am back with some more Rule the Waves Two. So in the last stream we left off when Germany and Britain are getting kind of pissed at us. So I only want to fight one of the two of them. Germany is easier to fight. Let's be real. On the other hand, Britain has stuff we want, and we might be able to actually take stuff from them, unlike Germany, who I don't think we can take stuff from. Um, if we look at the map, let me move my uh, OBS over a little bit because I almost hit the X button. Um, in terms of colonies... We've basically taken everything in this region. Um, yeah, the only stuff from Germany we can even grab, you know, is down in the Africas. So we'd have to beat them at war, and that's not... I mean, it's not that hard. Alright. Alright, so, okay. So training. Training's an interesting one. Because we want to go gunnery. We definitely want to go gunnery for training. But... Hmm. But, do we want to go night fighting or torpedo warfare? Because if you could go night fighting, that would get us... Uh, closer range on average, or we could try to rely on our aircraft to knock out enemies, given that it's 1937, and that, you know, we probably should start training to get aircraft ready. And night fighting means that we're not going to get as many aircraft battles, and we can get very risky battles. However, the, thi the thing is, night fighting plays into an advantage of ours, but not having night fighting also plays into an advantage of ours. Um, I don't know how much gunnery actually plays into things, thinking about it now. Hmm. Torpedo warfare would also play into an advantage. I guess gunnery isn't our biggest advantage, but given how I've built up my navy, I do kind of have to rely on it. So, that does lead to some interesting choices. Of either gunnery and night fighting or gunnery and torpedo warfare. I might just go. Mm. Night fighting is going to be very risky. I'll go gunnery and torpedo warfare. So that's going to increase maintenance costs. We do need to activate these guys, I think. So this is going to cost a lot of funds. Now the good news is Minnesota is going to complete in three months. So we are close to getting that done. I'm going to keep the Kentuckys mothballed for now. Um, honestly though, I think I need to get the carriers active. Honestly, probably the Galvestons as well. Maybe move the Renos into the reserve fleet. Yeah, this is this is gonna cost a shitload of money. So it might be the case where what I do is I halt Vermont for a couple of turns. That's my thought. Um, so let's move the light carriers all into the reserve fleet. In terms of active destroyers, right now we only have the Starrets, but the Calhouns and Cranes. I think it would be a good idea to just get all of our uh, 2,000 tonners active at the moment. Um, I'll get these guys into the reserve fleet to get them a little better worked up. Because they'll still kind of be part of our fleet. Alright, um... It's probably what I want to do there. 
next thing I would want to do is air groups. So, right now, we have this. So I'm going to grab, no, no, fighter. Yeah, these guys here. You guys are going to move to USS Saratoga. You guys are going to move, come on, to USS Hornet. You guys are going to move to Wasp. You guys are going to move to uh, Lexington. And all of you guys are going to move to a naval air station, and I don't know which one. Um... might be good to get you on, uh, like, I don't know, let's move you to Manila, maybe, for the moment. Alright, so you, I need to add an air unit, uh, eight aircraft, and dive bombers. Dive bombers, eight aircraft. Add air unit, dive bombers, eight aircraft, add air unit, dive bombers, eight aircraft, and then you, you're going to need fighters, eight, fighter, eight, dive bomber, eight, Dive bomber eight. Can I just? No, I can't copy it. All right. So then for Lexington, fighter eight, fighter eight, dive bomber eight, and then dive bomb. Yeah, dive bomber eight. All right, so then. Okay, so I. Oh yeah, I can copy air group there. Paste. Paste. All right, so now Langley and Yorktown have the exact same air group. Um. So then, what we want to do is, wanna add an air group here. So it has 34 aircraft in it. So it's saying fighter, dive bomber, torpedo bomber, dive bomber. Um, my thought is maybe should I go fighter, fighter, dive bomber, torpedo bomber? Well, you know, how do we split? Okay, 34 up into third, 33, so that'd be roughly 11 of each type. Um, Well, you know, let's say we divided it by 6. So, 36 divided by 6. Um, 36. Yeah, 36 is divisible by 6. That would be 6. So, that would be a group of 6 planes with a group of 5 planes. I probably don't want to do that, though. Um, so, fighter-wise... We'll change your number to 8. We'll change your role to fighter in... Change number to eight, and then you're, we're gonna change your number to nine, and your number to nine. So we'll have more. Well, you know what? We could have more fighters, or we could try to get that extra strike capacity. So. I'm gonna change roll to dive bomber. Okay, so this is what roughly what we had before. Um. Fighter-wise, how about we change the number to 12? No, cancel. Um, so we'll just dis... No, no, we'll just... Dis we'll disband this air unit here. Hmm. 
Okay, so fighter 8 is roughly a 4. So let's bring it up to 10. So that gives me another 24 aircraft to work with. And 24 is um, 4 times 6. So we'll change the number to 6. Oh, you know, no, we could do 12. Let's just do 12 and 12. And then if I need to, I can split squadrons. So there we go. That would be on you. Copy that air group. Paste it there. Paste it there. Paste it there. Paste it there. Auto add aircraft. Copy air group from there. And paste it there. Alright, in terms of air stations, Seattle uh, needs aircraft. Um, yeah. And boat fighter 9, medium bomber 9. Um, I'm going to change the number of dive bombers and torpedo bombers to 6 and try to get more medium bomb. We'll try to get 12 medium bombers then. Maybe 10 fighters. See how that looks. Seattle's at 40 now. Yeah, okay, so that's that's just Seattle. I don't do I have another airbase in that region? Or no? Cause Seattle's up here. Nope. The British could have multiple. Um, but do they is the question. Britain, what air bases do you have? Uh no, it was not gonna appear in ships. Alright, so they do have one on Takao. But it looks like they don't have any any elsewhere. Um Alright, so I might just have like small air groups at San Francisco and San Diego. Um I might do a general small air group sort of thing. Um probably without like eh, maybe a small nah maybe not even like with medium bombers, just with fighters, torpedo bombers and dive bombers. But Seattle Seattle is kind of an important one and honestly let's go to Seattle real quickly. Um yeah, Naval Air Station, Seattle. Expand the base. That will be good. That will be good. Because I do need to ready up for war. So I moved them to Manila. Do we have an, we have an airbase at Apari, actually. Um, so I should probably move all the guys at, uh, where is it, Manila, here, over to Apari. Um... However, I'm going to change the role of these guys to dive bombers. So we get a nice mix. So, uh, let's say Naval Air Station San Francisco. Let's create a uh, let's create a group. So, we need a fighter squadron. Actually, no. We will first have a flying boat squadron. Um, this will consist of four planes. We will add a fighter squadron consisting of four aircraft, and then we will add maybe a torpedo bomber squadron consisting of maybe six aircraft as like a strike group, if needed. Yeah, I don't think dive bombers are that great right now. So then I'm going to copy this air group, paste it here. Um... Let's paste it at New York, Philadelphia, Boston, Charleston, Norfolk, Wilmington, uh, Tampa. Should probably get it too. I don't think I'll need any in like the Gulf or anything. Um, hmm. Where else? Where else do I want these sorts of bases? All oh, these uh, groups. So, where? What 
what's over here in uh at the Falklands? Port Stanley. So Port Stanley I think I want to uh, let's copy this air group again and paste it in Port Stanley. Okay. I don't think I'll need it in like way away or anything. Um, any air bases here? At Fiji, no. Any? Oh, Polynesia has one. At Fiji, let's build an air base. At Suva. And then let's go to. Uh, what? What is this one? That's Papiti. Okay, so at Papiti, we'll need to add that air group in. Paste it there. Now. Honestly, probably want an air base at Port Moresby. So Henderson Field, I am probably also gonna add that. So there's Kaviang, yeah, Kaviang's over there. So we'll paste the air group at Kaviang as well. Um, okay, so it, do we have an airbase? No, we have one at Manila. So I'm going to Honestly, I'm going to copy that air group and paste it at Manila. And then I'm going to copy the other air group we're using it and paste it at Davao, Legopsi, Gospi, and Guam. Okay, so Portland. Maybe it's Portland. Halifax. Yeah, I should probably add the small air group at, like, Halifax. And see. Well, you know what? Let's see. Let's see. So, we're talking about this region here. So, St. John and St. John's. St. John should probably get it. And so should uh, St. John's. Hamilton is. Where the hell is Hamilton? Where is Hamilton? Yeah, Portland should definitely gun. Oh, Hamilton's down there. Yeah, let's add one to, at Hamilton, too. Copy air group. Um. Yeah, we should probably have one at Portland, too. I think that's good. I think that's good enough. So, we are losing money at the moment. Um. I'm going to have to gradually activate my fleet again, and I probably do want to upgrade the 1928 rebuilds. So I think what I'm going to do first is I'm probably going to send in the Alabamas. So the first thought is upgrading to 5-inch tertiaries. Um... We do need to get more, some more stuff of various kinds. However, might have to go down to 25 inch tertiaries. I think 5 inch tertiaries are probably going to be more dangerous than 4 inch. Uh, yeah, 5 inch tertiaries are going to be more dangerous, I think. Yeah, if we do this, or can I get an additional one? No, I can't. I also remove a secondary gun. No, I need to keep the secondary guns. Yeah, I think this will be dangerous still, though. It also just reduce a torpedo tube. No, it doesn't make sense. Alright, keep the extra torpedo tube in. 
Or if we reduce the tube, can we do torpedo reloads? Yes, we can. So if we reduce the extra tube, then we can get another spread, which is fine. Fine with me. I will accept that. And we will rebuild the Alabamas so that they don't go obsolete. So I'm going to save New Mexico for when Vermont completes. Okay, we've commissioned four subs. Alright, so we could either get more budget, more tension, or try to decrease it. I need budget right now. Screw it, so we're taking the tension. Alright, new flying boat as part of a private venture. Range is a little better, bomb load's better, speed's a little worse, toughness is better, firepower is better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's acceptable. Oh yeah, tensions with Germany are pretty high now. Um... Copy air group. Not from airbase way away. Why would it copy it from airbase way away? That doesn't have anything in it. Um, yeah, sure, you can buy that, Japan. Uh, not now, for you. Alright, so I gotta get that guy resumed. Um, I assume naval aircraft's just gonna keep increasing for the moment. I would like to get more of my carriers active, like the guys in the Caribbean and these guys as well. I'm probably going to move you to the North American West Coast, too. Hello, Triple Ace. How's it going? Yeah, so we did get uh, Minnesota done, at the very least. That gives us our uh, seventh uh, 28 10-inch gun CA. We also got, or we got some other ones. The Alabamas will come out of refit this turn. Um, honestly, the Floridas are going to need to go in too, so that they don't get old. Okay, everything's finishing the reconstruction. I have to take this option. Because it gives me prestige. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Yeah, okay, so it looks like we're going to go to war with both... Britain and Germany. This is a horrible situation. Let's try to back out of Germany. I'd much rather go to war with Britain. Um, Alright, so the Alabamas are refit now. I think I gotta send the Floridas in. So what we're doing with these refits is we're changing the tertiary guns to 5-inch. Uh, um, somehow that works better. I think I'm getting rid of a torpedo tube and doing torpedo reloads. Because I seem to be doing able to do that pretty freely. Okay, that's about as low as I can get that. Okay, these ones don't have quite as many secondary guns. That's probably why I can uh, reduce it so much and get a maximum amount of tertiaries in. So this thing is... These things are basically getting just rebuilt to... Um, be able to withstand anti-aircraft guns, so that is going to be pretty expensive, but not not as bad not as badly expensive as I thought. Actually, we are getting a Cleveland in service. Actually, I think we completed one of the Clevelands, right? Yeah. Okay, we got a Cleveland done. Um, if we look at the map, where are they putting their forces? So they've still got. They're still very angry over here. They might be trying to trying stuff in this region. Um, so I think initially what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to resist on the North American East Coast. After that, I might want to try to do a push to uh, Southeast Asia and take territory. Um, there's also the thought where I could pre-position stuff in Southeast Asia. Uh, current stuff which is currently on the North American West Coast, like uh, uh, New Jersey, Nebraska. Nebraska needs a rebuild, though. But the Alabamas and New Jersey are along the West Coast. Um, also along the West Coast are a bunch of Crane and Calhoun class destroyers. And honestly, I will send the Gregories in too. Uh, also along the West Coast in terms of CVLs, we have these guys. Um, we'll move Langley 
and we have two Galvestons as well as two Des Moines we can all move. Move them all to the active fleet, move ships all into the Southeast Asia region. Uh, you will also need to move to Southeast Asia, I think. And it would be nice to still get some uh, decent cr or decent cruiser on the west coast. So those, honestly, I think the Idaho's will be reactivated and sent to the North American west coast. So that we can have a good cruiser there. The Indiana's need a quick rebuild before this war happens. Um, so let's go up to 5 inch guns. 5 inch dual purpose guns. Um, let's decrease the broadside torpedo tubes and get reloads in. 20, no. Alright, use up the maximum of our tonnage for those. We're only going to have the 20 tertiary guns. Guessing raiding cruisers are part of your fleet somewhere. Nope! Nope! We are... We have a battle line of armored cruisers. The goal is to defeat them in battle, because I don't want to be bothered with uh, Jean-Nicole. Um, yeah. It's led to some interesting designs. Alright, that one probably needs to be made active. Okay, so... We will have four fleet carriers um, along the east coast for the moment. And then two in the uh, Southeast Asia region. As are my current thoughts. Um, potentially after a decisive battle, maybe uh, the Saratogas and Lexingtons will move into the, into the Southeast Asia region. Um, it would be nice to get a couple of modern or another couple modern cruisers in the Southeast Asia region. So um, the flints will be ordered there. However, the flints will want to move through the Caribbean. So they will be ordered to the Caribbean this turn then. Um, I will rely on the Clevelands coming into service to make up for the gap on the east coast. So that would allow the Clevelands to serve on the east coast and then the flints can go to the west coast. In which the... Wait, how the hell did the Clevelands not get dual purpose secondaries? I swear I had those secondaries set to dual purpose. That's... bullshit. Alright. Tensions with Germany have declined. Looks like we're going to war with Britain again. Um... Probably time to activate the Stevens, given that they're my only real destroyers along there. The Harding should probably be active. We'll we'll activate all of these guys for now. All these guys will move to the reserve fleet so that they can start readying up a little bit better, as well as all these guys. Okay, so that'll be fine. Um, the Kentuckys and Michigans will have to re rebuild next. The Michigans are some of the 18 times 10 inch gunners. Um, so they're not bad. So after that, it'll have to be Nebraska and maybe New Jersey as well. New Jersey should go obsolete in 1930, though. Well, not 1930, 1940. Whereas the Kentuckys will go obsolete next year. Kentuckys, Michigans will go obsolete next year. Nebraska will go obsolete in 1939, I think. Um, okay, so in terms of ships building, right now Ranger is four months from completion. Enterprise is five months from completion. Uh, Cleveland is three months. Uh, another Cleveland is four months. Minnesota is fi not Minnesota. Uh, Vermont is five months from completion. When Vermont is completed. Uh, she will be followed up with the New Mexico design, and then our rebuilds are three months from completion. There's also currently some thought about trying to 
rebuild some of the older light cruisers and I want to take a look at this I'm not necessarily gonna do this right now um, but no I don't want to change type and continue but the thought would be two inch yeah okay refitting some of our older light cruisers into this basically um is this valid yeah that would be valid this, this would be valid um probably wouldn't cost that much either Yeah, we can do something like that, and then now all of a sudden, you know, we're sitting at something more like in Atlanta here. Um, can I do a V? Yeah, a V would be fine, because this is kind of canceling cross-deck fire. Although, is, does a W cost less than a V, or no? Yeah, W costs less than a V. And these would all be dual-purpose guns. This would probably be... 10 5 inch guns of quality 1 is probably better than 7 6 inch guns. If we went up to 6 inch guns, what would that be like? That's tempting. That's tempting to uh, try to get modern light cruisers out of older light cruisers. Um, you may add shielded mounts, but not. Okay, so I can't do that, but I can do this still. This is very tempting. I might not do it yet, but yeah, that's tempting. Okay, so how much does it cost for a single? A single 5-inch gun is... A double is actually more. Um, but with double, I can also get more AA positions filled. Um, there's some thought about removing the W and then going for the... Uh, F and K as uh, singles. Um, that would save a little bit of weight. But I don't think I really need to save that much weight. What if we decrease those to ones and then added like a W in? How is this doable? Why is this doable? <laughs> I'll give you one, two, three, four. Uh, okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's still ten. Right? Yeah. Still ten. So that's why it's doable. Um, I'd have to figure out another place to put a turret or bring the X up to a double. That would be doable. Give us. You know, one, two, three, four. Although we'd probably want just a little bit more room. I don't know. So I'll, I'll consider rebuilds to like the Oaklands, yeah, the older, the older uh, cruisers here. Maybe even like the Huntingtons will be the first uh, prototype of it. But you know, right now we're so low in terms of money. Our new torpedo bomber is ready for service, and war is broken out. Damn it! I was hoping I had a little bit longer. Alright, activate everything. All of you guys go to trade protection. And then all of you guys go to trade protection. Okay, so let's see. So we aren't going to get anything commissioned this month, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to halt those two carriers. And that should buy me just enough time for the CAs to return to service. Um, so if we look at force disposition, we have a lot down here. Okay, increase spying on Britain up to high. Invasion target, Formosa. 
Seriously? Seriously? That's bullshit. Alright. Hong Kong's the invasion target, then. That's fine. We can invade Hong Kong. Hopefully Hong Kong puts us close enough to uh, Formosa to take it. Okay. Britain is starting to put stuff on the ships. Alright, dive bomber-wise, our heavy bomb load is going up. Uh, that's very good. Um, hmm. Let's see, max speed has gone up. Range is about the same. Okay, okay, okay. I need to actually make a good decision here. Alright, so bomb load-wise, no good choices. If I'm going by speed... Well, not, not no good choices. Uh, bomb, bomb load doesn't matter. If I'm going by speed, I would probably want the Brewster. Um... Then the Boeing, then the Grumman. Speed would probably rule the Vought out. The Vought's too slow. But the other three aren't too bad. Uh, range favors the Grumman. Then the Boeing. Then the Brewster. So, the Grumman and the Boeing are looking good right now. In that regard. However... In terms of firepower, the Boeing's really low. Um, and m m the Grumman has the best maneuverability and toughness. So I think that of them, the Grumman has the best balance of stats. Alright. Unfortunately, I am really, really, really hurting for money. Um, I'm going to halt Vermont for a turn. Probably got to halt Enterprise for a turn. We could go slightly into the red. I'll take the risk. I will go slightly into the red. Because I know we have stuff finishing up the reconstruction. Improves invasion capacity. Our troops have invaded Hong Kong. Nicely done. See, I called it, I called it, I called it. Resume construction on Ranger. Oh, not Ranger, on Enterprise now. Alright, so they were... Yeah, Hong Kong is now being invaded. That is good. Our invasion capacity just increased, if I recall correctly. Uh, can we invade you now? No, we can't. For whatever stupid reason, because th this version's probably glitched in that regard, or it's something to do with invading from Northeast Asia, but I think it's a Southeast Asia location. Um, hopefully Hong Kong will put us close enough. Alright, so... Yeah, we're going to get two more completed here, which should hopefully allow us to get Minnesota finished. Amsterdam's complete. Uh, oh god, the rangers are going to be slow. Improves range for cruisers. Improve 15-inch guns like they matter. We've sunk the British destroyer Dune. Uh, cruiser action. Battle in support of land combat. Yeah, I'll take it. Enemy coastal raid here up in Maine. We'll accept. Because we have home waters. Hey, look, we get light cruisers. Shitty ones. Why do we get shitty light cruisers? Hey, we actually have a second division on the map. What is that? What does that division consist of? The support force. Only one light cruiser. Oh, wait, no, it has two. Why is it all the shit ones here? Where are the Clevelands and Galvestons? I thought they were Galvestons. Hello, Akula 2. Alright, so this is going to be a night action. Where are they, and why is my game running so slowly? Yeah, this is weird. Normally the game does not run this slowly. Eh, it goes fine. I'm still several versions behind because I have the problem of... Um, Relying on ships with 28 guns, which you can't do in new, newer versions. So, yeah. 
But we're at war with Britain. Britain's who we got into war with. Unfortunately, our destroyers are being stupid. Come on, regroup with us. Thank you. Yeah, this is bad. Our, our destroyers are, like, not doing good. They're not... Oh, shit. Um, unknown ship fires at destroyer. Okay, important to know. Turn off fast, it's available. Let's go down to fast. Ah, uh, let's go down to very fast here. Do any of these ships have, um, radar of any sort? None. How big is your latest monster? Um, 67,000 tons, yay? Is currently my biggest monster. Alright, so we got a... Yeah, we have multiple reports. Some are saying CA. Some some are reporting battleships. I kind of don't believe that. Uh, part of the problem right now is that all of our destroyers are back here. Because I do have a certain amount of... Yeah. My current thought right now, though, is some of these older cruisers, either during or after this war, I'm probably going to rebuild into, like, uh, anti-aircraft cruisers, um, a la Atlanta. Although maybe only with a bunch of centerline 5-inch guns, rather than any side turrets. Right now, we're just trying to find the enemy, but none of these ships have radar. Um... Yeah, some of my ships do have radar. I have invented it. What the shit? We're reporting it over here now? Oh, there's a allied torpedo fired. There's another allied torpedo spread fired. There, There's a fight going on here. There we go. All right. Whatever that destroyer is, we've hit it multiple times. I am vaguely concerned that this thing's firing torpedoes at us. How's Chattanooga doing? Um, she took some six-inch hits. All right, so although we are hunting down what appears to be a destroyer here... Oh. We got... Those are allied destroyers. Awesome. So whatever that destroyer is, though, it's dead. It's dead now. Pull away. Alright, so one of our destroyers has radar. That's important to know. Alright, so that is an allied ship there. That's probably our support division. I'm going to order you guys on cruise speed. We've confirmed one enemy ship sunk. We don't know what it is. United... Okay, yeah. There, oh, we got something on radar over here. What are you? What are you? So that's Keylaw. That, that's the coastal ship. Currently, we're not seeing any more combat. Nope, now we are. GR Large Merchant. It's still around here somewhere. Where are they? Where are they hiding? Why are our destroyers not grouping up with us? I need to get a report on the on wherever this guy is. Who got reports in this area? But, you know, so far we've only sunk the one ship. But, you know, that could have been the ship. But it sounded like they were reporting multiple enemies. Alright, so now our destroyer formation has grouped up with us. Okay, so that was allied right there. Weather limits air operations. It's a little annoying. Because that was allied. Nope. That's just me. Um. Alright, now it's daytime again. So if anything is still here, we'll see it. Alright, so wherever it is, it used to be here. 
That would be my guess. How good is Chattanooga? Chattanooga's fine, actually. Good. Good Good to know. Yep. Scenario length is reached. So they had a light cruiser and two destroyers. Oh, God, they got a victory. Somehow they failed their objective, but, yeah, they lost two destroyers. We lost a destroyer. Which destroyer did we lose? USS Shaw. Ooh. What the hell happened? Uh, destroyers just shot it. Good job, support force. So we sink Itchen. That was modern. That was pretty modern. And it's down. So which one were you hit by? Was that the one we sank? Yeah, that looks like the one we sank. So Swale was also sunk. And that one took... So it took a 4-inch from... Near miss from Lansford. And then 6 inches from uh, Chattanooga. And then just eventually sank. But we lost two merchants. As well as a Seda class. And uh... A Kingfisher class. That's annoying. So Great Britain's already starting this out with a small victory. Alright, we need to resume construction on uh, Vermont and just get her out there. The, the Dorseys are also almost done. We're probably going to want to focus on more Dorseys. Um, also, Enterprise is almost done. So... In terms of air group, Ranger, do you have aircraft on you right now? USS Ranger does not. Copy the air group from Hornet and paste it on Ranger. Alright, so we did move some stuff into the Caribbean, which I wanted to move elsewhere. Ah, uh, the Santees are old, actually. So they are, unfortunately, going to need to go in for a refit. Um, no, no, we will... Upgrade to 5-inch guns here. If we go up to doubles, it does more than increase the mass. So we're going to try to avoid doing that. What is the Vermont? It is a 67,000 ton uh, heavy cruiser. We're going to clear those torpedo mounts on the Santee class. And we're going to invest them into more 5-inch guns. Assuming I can get them. Uh, it seems like I'm going to have to get rid of two. Hmm. Um, the other thought is anti-aircraft guns, but let's get rid of two. So, these are ordered really, really badly. Um, so, E, G, T, K, D, F. Okay, so D, E would be the forwardmost one. F, G, and then T and J are probably the two I want to remove. Nope. Let's add T back in. S? No. We want S still there. K? Yeah, okay, K is the one we want to remove. And then put it into more anti-aircraft guns. Yeah, just refit it with deck edge lift. Can't add uh, catapults to it. So it's saying we're overgunned, but, you know, who cares? Um, yeah, okay. So now we have dual purpose 5-inch uh, guns. Actually, no, FG are 40. So maybe I do get rid of T and S, and then add, um, not R, uh, J and K back in. Also the thought of, you know what, let's do, let's decrease, no, not, not G, not G. Let's decrease these guys to singles, and then have a, uh, S and T of singles as well. And then that does decrease the amount of anti-aircraft guns we can have. Back, you know, actually that gets us the same amount of those. And if we do that, then, yeah, we just don't have enough. 
So let's let's increase these back up to two. Let's move these guys back down out of there and then get our two extra anti aircraft guns in. So we have the same amount of same amount of stuff but more more guns. More anti aircraft fire or firepower. And these are the last two light carriers we need refit. So how long until the Langleys get old? They're nineteen thirty, so they, they we have a little bit more time on them. Um problem is the Kentuckys and Michigans are very quickly going to get old, but I think I need to get Vermont done. Also, this is Vermont. Yeah, Vermont is terrifying. Vermont is absolutely scary. Alright, so we still have our fleet over here. We're still trying to take Hong Kong from the British. Um, I can't offer them resources. Reduces armor weight by 1%. Improves fleet logistics. No, I do not want them created. Automatically. Uh, let's bomb load. Oh, that's lame. German. Wait, what? Germany just decided to occupy Norway. Um... I have to take the option. I have to go to war with Germany. I have no other choice. It gives me prestige. Damn it, St. Louis got sunk. Which one was St. Louis? Um, That was a Reno. Okay, okay. I, I will accept a Reno. Unexpected battle as a convoy defense over here. Um, Yeah, attack enemy ships in general. Like, we're going to need to suppress enemy air bases. We've already taken this. Oh! Oh, shit. What are they going to attack me with, first of all? Um, oh. Oh, god, we have carriers. Um, that probably means that enemy carriers are active. So, first things first. Ready up the aircraft right now. I want them ready. Yeah, catapult launch search planes from everything. Hey. Oh, that's Bermuda. Okay. I was like, what's going on over there? Hey, we do have a support force as well. Right? No, that's a convoy force. Do we have a support force? Um, no, that's a convoy division. Okay, so that's the convoy we are trying to protect. And we are massively ahead of this convoy for some reason. Which is a little annoying. Alright, we need to find them. And then we need to just launch a carrier strike at them. The convoy division is back up this way. Turn around and regroup. If we get a sighting report of enemy ships, then we will strike, but we're not seeing any at the moment despite having float planes all across the water found them all right all right so what are you reporting one battle cruiser um how many dive bombers here it's only one all right so coordinated strike uh priority target i want battleships targeted so they're coming up this way so i want our strike launched Probably over here. Alright, so we will send a fighter on the escort mission. We will send a group of torpedo bombers from Hornet. And we will send one of the dive bomber groups from Hornet. Um, at the same time, I want a torpedo bomber group, a uh, fighter group, and a dive bomber group from Wasp. Uh, launch strike. Yes, I want to have it changed. I have not developed multi. Alright, launch strike. Get that one ready, get that ready, get that ready. Launch strike. Yeah. Right, I need you guys to turn south. If we can get a sighting report on wherever the enemy carriers are, I do want to hit them too. But we don't. Do we have a... Strike launched? Yeah. 
strike package is launched. It is heading to the location currently. Come on, find them. No. They haven't found shit. What the hell? Whoa, whoa, where the hell did they come from? Holy cow, they just slipped around my armored cruisers. Wow. Hornets on fire. Shit. Run away, run away. Dear God. Where the hell did this guy come from? Connecticut torpedo tubes hit. Torpedo tubes explode. What sort of lucky shots are they getting? All right. We need to hit the battle cruiser as much as possible. Oh dear God! It's chasing our carriers down. No. Yeah, you need to shit. Wasp is unable to. Come on. All right, we need to force this battle cruiser away. All right, Are you guys within range? I can take control. Yes, I can. Your goal: move south. Move south right now. Um. All right. Wasp, how damaged? Very damaged. God damn it. So they were just able to get a fucking battle crew. Like, what the hell? Hold on. Alright. Something happened. I don't know what it was. But yeah, we have to have our cruisers right now. Act, um, act to protect the carriers and try to get Wasp home. Alright. No, you need to launch this way if at all possible. Uncoordinated strike, just launch it now. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Yes, I'm sure I don't want to. Wasp is still on fire, still flooding. Alright, Wasp, you need to stand down your aircraft. No fastest available speed anymore. Alright. Come on, Wasp, get your fire under control. Go to 26 knots. Yeah, okay, now it's dusk. What, like, what the shit was that? That was the enemy just going... That was the enemy just sneaking their battle cruiser around. So if there's any place we'd want to go, we would want to try to aim for, like, probably Wilmington. Go to cruise speed for now. Oh god, Wasp, get your, get your fu damn fires under control. We actually gonna lose a carrier due to a fucking enemy battle cruiser just being perfect. Yeah, now the fire's just spreading out of control. And for whatever reason, it, we're just. Our damage control teams are just not putting it out. So, what state is Hornet in? Hornet suffered a heavy hit, but is relatively okay. Wasp just took way too many. There was very little I could do in that situation because I was I was heading towards where the battle cruiser was, 
But I just missed him, and all the aircraft missed him. Yeah, Wasp, Wasp is abandoned. Shit. How fast can you move? Just... God damn it. Actually lost a flippin' carrier. All right. We need revenge. Just damn it. Damn it, though. God damn it. Yep. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Everything went wrong. Wow, Britain, just stop winning. Oh, my God. Like, what the hell? They just snuck a free freaking battle cruiser in that that was bullshit that was bullshit that was like just barely out of my line of sight got just barely around my cruisers oh god so what was wasp which one was wasp was that that was the second lexington class cv damn it damn it Oh, that's hurt so much. And then the rangers are too slow, because of course they are. Everything's kind of now gone really pear-shaped, and I don't think that this tactic's really working that well. Come on, Hong Kong, fall. I will take my red funding. CV Enterprise is commissioned. We still have a carrier advantage. I was just not expecting that. I really should have struck the planes below, because I might have been able to save her. Yorktown's now damaged. Springfield's now damaged. Great. Yeah, let's take this. They decline battle. Small engagement over, over off of Maine. Yeah, we'll take it. Uh, cruiser action off of here. Yeah, we'll take it. Thank you for the VP. All right, all right. That's good. That's good. Enterprise entered service. All right, air groups. So the air group from Ranger was copied over to Enterprise, and she will hopefully be able to build up her aircraft. Um, Minnesota will be finished here this month. Now that being said, unfortunately, I think the Kentuckys are going to have to go into a rebuild, but we need to do that as soon. Okay, new training's finally applied. Vermont's commissioned. Three destroyers are commissioned. Ah, uh, nicely done. We took... Oh, come on! Uh, I don't want to be losing prestige for all this, but it just kind of keeps happening. Because my subs. Um, okay then. Alright, go to fleet support for the submarine warfare, because that's clearly not working. Resume construction on Intrepid and Essex. And I think it is time to throw in the Kentuckys for a rebuild. So the Kentuckys are going to be a little more difficult to rebuild, I think. We are going to go down to 25-inch ter tertiaries. Um... The three torpedoes with torpedo reloads will be implemented on the Kentuckys as well. Um, their secondaries will be upgraded to better quality 6-inch guns. Uh, actually, no, wait, no, that might be too expensive. Yeah, yeah, no, that is too expensive. It's not bad to upgrade to better, better anti-aircraft guns. But I think that the casemate upgrades are just too expensive. So we want to do torpedo reloads, and we want to reduce the amount of torpedo tubes. And that actually gets us perfect. So there we go. Yeah, alright. Send the Kentuckys in so they don't get old. So the Kentuckys do have radar sets. Um... Money-wise, it's not a ba particularly bad situation. Um, we do need to lay down more uh, Dorsey-class destroyers, or an improved version of them. Um, uh, 
So the Shaw will just be a slightly improved Dorsey class, and we'll be able to lay some down this turn. Okay, so Santi and Altamaha have now done that. We will not lay down our arms lightly. We've taken control of Hong Kong. Uh, Warrington is torpedoed, unfortunately, and sunk. A uh, small engagement here we'll accept, gladly. Yeah, attack enemy ships in general. I don't think Britain actually has an airbase up here. So it's at night. We got CAs, Massachusetts, Idaho, as well as CLs. No destroyers. Do we not have West Coast destroyers anymore? Did I accidentally move some destroyers from the West Coast, which really should be there? Oh, crap. They're crossing our T. What are you? It's saying destroyer. Ida Whatever this is... Idaho just took a hit, which disabled a turret. So, if that's a destroyer. Well, it was a destroyer. Okay, so it had a 5-inch dual-purpose gun. So, yeah, it just got absolutely wrecked. Um, it didn't even get to fire its torpedoes. Huntington took a, took a bit of damage. So, Idaho, you're one medium hit. Wow, it was actually a 5-inch hit on the Idaho, which disabled the turret. Alright. Give me four Shaw class destroyers, now. So the other thing is, we need more destroyers along the North American West Coast. Um, so... In terms of modern destroyers, we have these guys. I think I'm going to send a group of cranes as well as the two remaining Hardings and two remaining Stocktons to the North American West Coast. Other than that, that, that doesn't leave us too much on the East Coast. It does leave us our most modern destroyers as well as some Mugfords. Um, there is a thought of moving maybe couple Stevens up into the North American East Coast. What do we have in the Caribbean in terms of CAs right now? Um, right now it's just the Michigans kind of holding there. Um, so that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with leaving that to the Michigans. Um, Alright, so Hong Kong was taken. Can we invade you? Yes, we can invade Formosa now. Um, I'm going to halt construction on all these guys I just laid down just so we can afford a uh, invasion into Formosa. What's our invasion range right now? So we're still not going to be able to get these regions. We're still not going to be able to get, like, uh, Malaya and Singapore yet. But, you know, hopefully we can knock out Formosa here real quickly, too, and just take that territory. Um, can't do anything in Southeast Asia, can we? No, we can't. Can't invade Australia. It would be nice to invade Australia, but I don't think we can. All right, next turn. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Why am I getting all the sh- Okay, I didn't fund the army, so that's why I got the shit. Look, there. Ah. Uh... I have to take this. Oh! <laughs> no! 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 This is out of control. This is out of control bad. This is out of control bad at this point. Um, hmm. Attack enemy ships near objective or suppress enemy airfields. This is north of Formosa. Uh, suppress enemy airfields. You have the ability to do it. Alright, so this is light cruisers. Modern light cruisers, thank goodness. Um, Galvestons. I'm getting some shit in this war now. Because of all my... All the little things I have. Alright, so that is a Calypso. That's modern. That's also modern. However... No, no, you need to target that Calypso. You need to knock it out. Now, this may be winnable. So, we're reporting that as a CV. It's not. What are these guys? Do they have m multiple modern CLs? Juno took an engine room hit through the belt. 
Because of course she did. Oh no, those are more destroyers. All right. Okay, so we are hitting the Calypso class. Hopefully it's actually doing something. We are showing medium damage on it. But, because of this, they have had to abandon the convoy. So, um... Current thought is maybe we can try to get into the convoy. Now, it looks like we're firing a lot of torpedoes in the general direction of the convoy. Alright, Calypso class is hit. Um... Juno took another engine room belt penetration. That is the second engine room belt penetration she has taken. Uh, Wrathborn is having some flooding. The Calypso class is really slowed, though. Oh my god, our destroyers fired torpedoes at my own ships. Great. The Calypso class, though, has stopped in the water and is on fire and is possibly sinking. current process should be to try to knock out as many of these merchants as possible. And it looks like we're going to get a uh, torpedo hit on another one here shortly. And the Calypso is probably dead. Actually, you move that way to make sure that torpedo doesn't hit. Honestly, though, you guys need to start targeting traders. Just target that. Actually, no, how do I cancel? Can I need to cancel the target. So right now, your goal is just Kinda to travel amongst these merchants and sink all of them. So unfortunately, those are... Enemy destroyers, which are still being a threat. But I think, I think we've nailed the entire convoy here. So let's just pull out. That's got to be an enemy destroyer. That's the enemy cruiser. Let's just pull out this way at cruise speed. Oh, those are allied? Oh, we had another light cruiser here. Good. Good to know. So yeah, no, that's that's actually very good. Whatever that ship is, it's approaching slowly. Now it's running. If we can hit it a few times, it'll die. Yep, it's dead. Alright, so that is an entire merchant convoy now sunk. That is insanely good. Oh, why did I get a ping? Sorry, I'm getting rid of that ping. It's not going to be of any importance to the stream. All right, let's just go away at cruise speed then. Pass is available. And just run. Oh, hey. They hit another ship with the torpedo. Oh, no, that's the sinking one, I think. All right, that is the end of that convoy. Uh, good job, cruisers. You did well there. Oh my god, I've already lost two carriers this war. This this campaign has been attrition. Or this war so far has been attrition. But yeah, that sub knocking out the second carrier, that's going to bring me back down to six. Now, admittedly, it is a ranger, and those are kind of slow. Um, I need to get the or I need to get the intrepids done. Um, I need to get those intrepids done. Okay, so they got their last remaining ships into port. So we sank the cruiser, sank two destroyers, heavily damaged another destroyer. Yeah, did that. Sank 14 auxiliaries, and we suffered some damage to a destroyer. So this thing had six-inch guns of quality one, and what wound up happening 
we just started scoring six and shits on it. And yeah. Oh, it, it was taking engine room hit belts too. Its radar got disabled. It just took a lot of hits. Um, so it did try to launch torpedoes at us, so its machinery got... That was the machinery getting disabled. And then Juno scored a torpedo hit, so... Good! Uh, I sank all those merchants. I sank the destroyer Kale. Shoulder just got hit by a bunch of six-inch shells. So that was the Boeing, maybe the one... Okay, so we actually sank two Boeings. And this one... Also took some hits. And then just sank. Um, so if we look at Juno... Juno did take a couple of uh, belt penetrations, if I remember correctly. Yeah, engine room hit belt. Engine room hit belt. So it took two medium hits, and both were to the engine room. Wow, I'm getting unlucky. Um, but, you know, it was still able to win. That battle could have gone a lot worse, but that is finally given us a win in the war. Unfortunately, yeah. Um, Nova Scotia is currently under a pro-British rebellion. On the other hand, Nova Scotia is here, in North American East Coast, where most of our ships are active. So, yeah, that should... If there's any rebellion we can put down, it should be that one. Now, that being said, if the British do get Nova Scotia, that's very bad, and we are going to have to invade it to take it back. Um, right now, our current invasion target is still Formosa. Alright. Money-wise, they're still good. I have to take the tension-causing option. Uh, going into my rule set. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Yes! We invade! Hey, cranky old git. Uh... It's going okay. Okay, so I'm gonna... Decline these other ones. Because... The game glitches out after an invasion battle, which is what it was doing there. So that did give the enemy some points, and it has put them in the lead. But, you know, that's still fine. Um, Alright, so the Michigans right now need a rebuild before they get old, because I do not want any of my ships getting old. Alright, so they need torpedo reloads. <sighs> uh, I would say it's going fine. We've definitely suffered some heavy losses this war. Um, two carriers so far have been sunk. But, uh, okay, we're not winning, but we have taken more territory from them. Uh, you know what, let's do... Let's do that, I think that's a little better balance. Um, can't get any more of those, can't get any more of those. I think that will be good for the Michigan rebuild. And that should allow Michigan to be able to... Or the Michigan's uh, basically much better anti-aircraft guns. Unfortunately, that does take the Michigan's out of commission for four months. Uh, we'll get the Kentuckys back here. Rhode Island has finished her reconstruction, and Kentucky has finished her reconstruction. I have to take the prestige-giving option, according to my rules. Uh, Douglas Dive Bomber has developed an improved model. Hooray! We will take it. Um, we lost more K... Oh, damn it, their submarines are sinking our ships. I take it that's probably Germany. Actually, you know what? Spying on Germany should be at high. I haven't reached aircraft yet, still messing around with the early game. Alright, yeah, this is an old, older version of the game, which I have to play in, because, um... This sort of ship's illegal in the current version, and I rely on this sort of ship. So, I have to stay in this version as long as I can continue building ships. As soon as I finish this campaign, I'm updating. Um, but I want to finish this campaign first. Alright, so, we have a very significant issue of um, Germany having 75 submarines. It's a really heavy armored cruiser. So, let's take a look at our Oligony design here. And go increase elevation, go dual purpose. We can improve the 4-inch guns to quality 1. Uh, we do have the K-guns, we do have the increased depth charge storage. I will get more, um, more anti-aircraft guns on it. 
and maybe we give it a little bit of fire control. We'll still use coal firing though. Yep. So we'll start building some of those this next month. Improved industrialization. Continue operations will secure a total victory. Improved surface search radar. Awesome. Improved air launch torpedoes. Improves hit chances of air launch torpedoes. That's good. I forgot to order a new aircraft type. Convoy attack. Battle in support of land combat. Yes. If the <laughs> estimated enemy forces is only 80 aircraft. Yes. Enemy coastal raid. Estimated enemy forces is one battle cruiser. Attack enemy ships in general. Yeah, sure. Let's see. What is this enemy ship? Hey, we got destroyers this time. Good. This is Idaho in Massachusetts. These are a couple better uh, CAs. Well, not better. These are kind of more mid-class for me right now. But, you know, they have 24 10-inch guns. So, that's pretty good. Along with uh, 16 6-inch guns. And on, for broadside stuff. And 24 5-inch dual-purpose guns. So, these are pretty good ships. Um, what are they doing? Okay, so this is now dear or ne down by Astoria. Unknown radar contact. There they are. What are you? Let's go off the fastest available. Let's go into normal speed. Thing five. I need to update my version. Showing 1.0. No wonder. Yeah, yeah. Update your version. Uh, update to the most recent version. I would say. I mean, I'm not on the most recent version, but I have good reason not to be. Alright, so whatever this ship is, it's still identified. It's now spotted. We're reporting it as a battleship. Fire... Come on, fire all the torpedoes at it. All oh, torpedo spread time! Come on! Two hits, two hits, two hits. Nicely done. Oh, it's sailing into more torpedoes. It took another two hits. Come on. Come on. Sink, damn it. There it is, battle cruiser of the inflexible class, nine sixteen-inch guns, uh, forty-one thousand two hundred tons. It is at extremely close range to my guys. So does it have any torpedoes? Uh, no. It does not have torpedoes. Hello there, friend. How do you like um all the ten-inch guns we have and all the five-inch guns we have, which are just gonna riddle you at this sort of range? Yeah. Yeah, we just did that. We just, like, sailed up and said, Hey, we're gonna sink you! And then we sank it. So, what happened here? So, it was just taking... 109 medium hits. How, how long? So, the first medium hit was delivered at 11.04. And at 11.15, the ship was sinking. Give me one moment. I'm just gonna copy this whole thing here and then just paste it into WordPad. And real quickly, I'm gonna bring up MS Paint, just to show how, uh, how quickly this ship took everything. Alright, so this is just, like, in, actually, a print screen, save, crop. Sorry I'm doing this, uh, like this, um, it'll just take a few minutes, I'm, I'm just, I'm, this sank so quickly. Uh, well, not sink so quickly, oh god, don't. Good, good, good. Okay, it brought it up on the right screen. I was hoping it would. That is, that is 109 medium hits on this ship in 11 minutes. <clears throat> Alright, so you should go in Real Ways 2. Where is Real Ways 2? Though, actually, it needed to be at the bottom, so that photo doesn't really work. 
spot, you know I can... You know I can just edit the photo like this. You know what, here, I'll do... that and then alt print screen yeah okay there we go and then I need to save this as like oh come on I mean, I'm technically going to be right back right now, too, so... Uh, Rule Waves 2, there we go. So this is going to be Rule the Waves 242. Save. There we go. And actually, if we look at the... So it took the t four torpedo hits, so two from Connor and then two from Sigourney. Or Sigourney. Or whatever, and then, yeah, it just sank. Critical hit two adjacent turrets damage. Um, wasn't sure how complicated the update is. It's usually not complicated. You wouldn't have to leave for it. Critical hit two adjacent turrets damage. Yeah, what? Hall hit belt, what? Hall hit belt penetration, waterline belt hit, belt extended. Yeah, this thing. This was 109 medium hits in 11 minutes. That's amazing. And four torpedo hits, so yeah. Um, so they were trying to sink two ships, and instead, they lost a battle cruiser. Yeah, okay, there's our prestige back. There's an enemy battle cruiser sunk. Um, give me more corvettes. Give me like eight corvettes. Um, honestly. Build me a new group of four subs, too. Okay, so under construction, uh, Michigan and North Dakota are going to be rebuilt. The last remaining CA, which I think needs to be rebuilt for this war, at least for now, I think New Jersey will probably also require a rebuild, but I wouldn't be surprised if New Jersey needs a rebuild, too. Um, but the last one right now is this guy. So we're going to upgrade to 5-inch double... Um, dual purpose mounts here. So we're only going to have 16 of them. Why is this so expensive? And thank you for the follow, cranky old git! Welcome to the Nameless Follower Group thing, which is really poorly named, because I'm kind of bad at this. Um, okay, so there's a thought of reducing us down to... I want to keep the f that many tertiary guns. So let's go down to maybe 22 of those guys. You know what, I'm going to go down to two torpedo tube. You know what, no. No, no, no torpedo. You know what, we'll have torpedo reloads on this guy. We'll go down to twin mounts, though. We'll go up to 32 medium anti-aircraft guns. Yeah, that works. I miss spotting run. You're the first other Twitcher I've seen live running. Grill lives, too. Uh, there's a couple, there's a few others. Um... Although I don't know how much they do it. I know Benjamin Magnus does it. Um, I mean, Tortuga Power used to. I don't know. He's doing uh, it mostly on YouTube now. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people who used to do it who really don't do it anymore. Okay, there we go. Nebraska is now getting her rebuilt, so she will not get old. Um, if we look at our light cruisers, I want to make sure I'm not neglecting any of them. In a few of YouTube, yeah. Um, alright, so Tallahassee's are refit 1921, so they're old, but they're on foreign station. Uh, that one should still be on foreign station. 
Other than that, we have the Huntingtons, which were last rebuilt in 1932, the Cincinnati. Uh, Des Moines and the Galvestons are probably going to need the refit next, which is a little annoying, since some of the Des Moines and Galvestons are actually in Southeast Asia. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two Galvestons and send them in. Can I do director firing? Yeah, I can. Can I do 5-inch guns? Yes, I can. I can do torpedo reloads. Um, I'm probably going to just decrease the amount of tubes so I can get more anti-aircraft guns in. So this will be the rebuilt Galveston. Alright, so we'll send two in for a rebuild, and then we'll replace the two in the South Pacific with the two we rebuild. Um, same with the Des Moines. So we are going to rebuild Chicago and San Francisco here. And we are going to leave them like, or very similar to this. Um, Alright, so torpedo reloads, no, can't fit them. So ideally I would want to get more of those. I might just I might just not have torpedo reloads on the Des Moines class. We'll do this refit. So then we will have to rebuild the other Des Moines over time or the other uh Des Moines over time. Um so there's many ships, light forces and torpedo warfare. Good. Gradual increase. We've taken control of Formosa. Um and we're losing more ships. Ah, damn it. We lost a we lost a CA. Which one was that? Um What a, Oh shit, that was a Colorado. What what are with their subs? Their subs are just magic. Um I we've lost a carrier and a super CA f for a battleship. We did get a kill, but yeah. Convoy attack off of Western Australia. Yeah, except that. We need points. Oh yeah, their subs are doing a lot of work. Alright, so first issue is we can't see shit in this weather. Now, good news is we've spotted an enemy ship coming at us. Oh shit. That is not what I wanted to see. Turn away. Turn away. That is an enemy destroyer of the Derwent class. Alright. This sort of fighting is horrible. So we've probably sunk that enemy destroyer. No, stop expending your torpedoes on it, you morons. Alright, so we we're supposed to do a convoy attack. Oh, it was at night, too, so that explains a lot. Um, so that's probably their CL force right there. Um, these are probably their defensive destroyers. Their CL force is coming back at us. Alright, so we need to get in position to cross its T. That's the current idea. So, so that's a Derwent. What are you? Galveston's hit by a torpedo. Shit. Now the good news is the Galveston's do actually have decent torpedo protection. No, Galveston, turn this way, you moron! <sighs> Alright, so that is... Okay, so that's an older uh, uh, cruiser there. So we need to sink that uh, X-Class. Okay, Galveston has actually uh, healed. So yeah, form up back up on Juno then. Um, would be really nice. Is that the fucking Derwent? What the shit? Alright, so that's not an enemy CV. That's probably a traitor. Yep.
Alright, Galveston, no, you need to form up a, as a core on Juno. Now, the good news is we've intercepted their convoy. Wait, we're reporting that as an AMC. Yeah, no, there was no way that Derwent survived. So if that is an AMC, then... Is that accurate? Yep, it is. Indian Prince class. AMC, it, it explodes. Let's go back down and intercept the convoy. So Galveston is retreating, but is pretty okay. Something off over here crippled. That's probably a sinking enemy CA, if I... Or not CA, um, traitor, if I was to guess. Shit. Uh, turn this way. Turn away. Just do a full circle around. Oh shit, Taylor's about to be caught out by that enemy, uh... CA. You need to... You need to hit that unidentified ship. There you go. Yeah, hit that destroyer right there. Hit that destroyer. There you go. That that was what I was thinking that was. That's the Kurokawa. And now the Kurokawa is getting hit, taking a lot of damage. Yeah, Kurokawa is slowed. Kurokawa is down. Galveston is retreating northward at 16 knots and seems to be intact. So there's another unidentified ship here. Target the destroyer. Alright, Derwent class is down. Shit. Start maneuvering wildly. They might have torpedoes in the water. We need to get back to the merchants. Shit. Uh, turn this way. Alright, so we're gonna cut across this way now, too. Um, and try to intercept, uh, kind of hook around the side and intercept. Grum and boomerang. We have grum and boomerangs. I still... I still need to uh, get a new plane going here. There we go. Finally made it to the merchants again. Take as many out as we can. Just sail between them like that. Alright. These are probably... Yeah, those are enemy destroyers. They look damaged, though. They are very much threatening Juno. Okay, Mohawk. The Mohawk class is taking hits. Juno is avoiding torpedoes. So they did fire torpedoes at us. But it looks like they just didn't get a solution. We've scored several hits on the X class now. We are reporting heavy damage on it. The more of these little destroyers we can knock out, the better. Take out the merchant. Large merchants down, I think. No, it's still up, still floating. We still got more merchants up here, I think. The large merchant is now sinking. We got what appears to be destroyers run away over here. No, that is a merchant up there. So I think the enemy destroyers have run away. Medium merchant is down. Intercept the remaining merchants up here. Uh, Juno, how you looking right now? You're looking pretty good. Alright. No, that was not the course I wanted you on, Juno. I don't know how you got away with that shit. One Mohawk is slowed. Hunt it. It's sunk. It's sunk. We got one. Uh, weather's cleared up. Chasing the remaining Mohawk down. 
Galveston's still just moving away from here. Oh, hey, we're scoring hits on it. Cool. Uh, we've identified another very damaged destroyer down there. We don't know. It's moved up to support another damaged destroyer. Pref probably one which has tried to retreat. A Derwin. Come on, take out the Mohawk. And we know there's going to be another damaged destroyer to the south. There we go. Mohawk class hit. Derwin class hit multiple times. Do this sort of swerve, get it broadside, come on. Nope, no hits. So we know we're gonna have an E or an X class running down to the south. Alright, just Yeah. Catapult launch him from Galveston, sure. Yes to all. Save the survivors. So that Mohawk is successfully running away. Unfortunately. But there's the X. There's the X. If we can take both these guys out, it would be excellent. Oh, he's, for he's reforming with the X class destroyer. Come on, Juno. Score some hits. Or some actual decent hits on these guys, please. Nope, we're just not... We're missing them. We're missing every single shot, it seems. Ah, we scored a couple there. There we go. Mohawk hits. Good. Hits on the Mohawk. Anything on the X? Nope. It doesn't look like our hits are doing a lot. Did score more hits there. More on the X. I wouldn't be entirely surprised because they're out of torpedoes. Unfortunately, though, we are, you know, very, very low on armament. Honestly, launch a flotilla attack at this point. So we still have a destroyer just going to pick up survivors from all of these sunken ships. I believe when you were feeding the CLs, CVLs, what did you miss? A lot went wrong. A lot went wrong. We lost two carriers already. On the other hand, though, we did sink a uh, battle cruiser. Sounds like the in-between turns, enemy AI are doing more damage than in battles. They kind of are. Although, we did lose one of the carriers in battle. Um, what happened there was an enemy battle cruiser. Basically, I an enemy battle cruiser was spotted. I launched an airstrike at it. Somehow, this battle cruiser slipped around the airstrike. I sent my cruisers at it. Somehow, it slipped around the cruisers and wound up to the side of the cruisers and right next to my carriers. Which was extremely annoying, and it sank one of them. Or it did significantly damage one of them and lit it on fire enough that it sank. So I think the Mohawk's going to escape, but I don't want the X here to escape at all. So, come on, sink it. Juno is now out of main ammo. Well then. Mahan is hunting her down. The X-Class is now circling. Juno's trying to use her secondaries to hit it. X-Class confirmed sunk. Let's just leave. Yep. That was successful. So, we sank three enemy destroyers, an enemy light cruiser, 16 uh, auxiliaries, uh, two enemy destroyers left with heavy damage, and one was moderately damaged. So, Champion was sunk, hit by multiple... Uh, Six inch shell hits from Juno and Galveston. Yeah, and then her magazine blew up from a hit from uh, Juno. Uh, Galveston unfortunately had to leave the battle early due to a torpedo hit. Um, good news is these ships do actually have torpedo protection, so Galveston was able to survive the hit. Uh, Sherwell, a Durant class, was sunk. Um, uh, so yeah, it took a lot of hits and then eventually just took a torpedo hit. Uh, Blackwater, was that the X-Class then, which was sinking? Yeah, so this thing took 11 medium hits and 20 light hits to put down. Uh, Saracen, 
was a Mohawk class which we sank. Um, shot up a bunch of times. Uh, okay, so we have AMC Indian Prince. This one we hit a lot with uh, six inch shells. AMC Merchant 14. So X of the X class escaped. Um, yeah, pretty damaged, but somehow got away. Derwent of the Derwent class escaped. And it was pretty damaged. And then Wrathborn. Wait, what? It was a Mohawk, which was running away at the end. Did we misidentify one? We must have misidentified one as a Mohawk. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Destroyer Mohawk suffered medium damage. Were, were we just getting a bunch of near misses and reporting them as hits? I think that's what happened. Because I thought we were able to hit that thing a lot, and it just wasn't doing shit. So, yeah. Um... All right, then. Good battle. We got a major victory. We achieved our objective. We sank all the auxiliaries, and all of our ships survived. Yeah. We gained a prestige point for it. So thankfully, we do have more uh, sub-hunting ships under construction, more of these Link Michigan class sub-hunters. I'll get another group done. So yeah, war so far has been tough. We need to get these Intrepids out. Intrepid and Essex are the best bet we have, but yeah, losing two carriers has been really not good. Um, uh, good news is, we do now have Hong Kong and uh, Formosa. Bad news is, there's really nowhere I can invade right now. Um... I don't think I can invade any part of Australia. Nope. None of them are even capturable. I'd have to wait until I can invade these areas. The big worry would be France, if they'd wind up joining the war. Um, so at this point, it's just waited out, I think. North Dakota and Michigan have finished their reconstruction. Yeah, I'm fighting the Germans, too, now. So I have gone to war with both. Um, yeah, we're losing a lot of Corvettes. Oh, right, I was supposed to get a new aircraft type. Uh... Alright, our oldest right now is a floatplane scout. So let's get a new floatplane scout then. First priority should probably be reliability. Second priority, um, range. You know what? Let's, let's see about building more of, like, this style of, uh, ship. So let's get you... 4 inch quality 1, let's get you increased elevation um probably no AA director so we'll slow it down a little bit cause that's, is it a little cheaper to go slower? it is uh, we'll, we'll keep it at that speed um we'll get a better gun on it and maybe actually a Decent fire control system. Yeah, okay, build that. Charleston has finished her reconstruction. Tacoma, San Francisco, and Chicago have all finished their reconstructions. Um, D.D. Mayrant has sunk. Go to build screen. See how many of these guys I can build. Let's build four. All right. So yeah, if we look at chip sunk, yeah, that was a painful loss. Why did we have to lose that? Um, what else did we sink in terms of light cruiser a loss in light cruisers? A light cruiser wise, um, so it was a Renault which was sunk. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. Um, but yeah, losing Le Wasp and Ranger is not good at all. Especially since Ranger was new and Ranger just got torpedoed by a German sub, because of course it did. Uh, they're down to 66, they're down to 16. We still have 32 subs up. Um, I'm going to get another four subs building. And honestly, I'm going to go back to prize rules here. And we just, we need these little, little ships. All right.
so what I wanted to do was so I got these guys rebuilt so these guys are currently in the Caribbean you guys need to move into Southeast Asia you guys need to move first of all into the Caribbean and then into Southeast Asia and then you guys rebuild right now you guys will wait you guys will wait for your rebuild um, actually you know what you could rebuild right now it's probably easier to re just rebuild you and then move you there so we'll rebuild those two we'll leave the two Galvestons on station for the moment um, however uh, Tacoma and Charleston will move down into Southeast Asia to replace them all right we currently do not have an invasion target Nebraska is finished for reconstruction seal Cleopatra I don't know why we got that uh, air sea rescue that's good yes lies our pilots are important we now build bigger air bases Improves invasion capability. That's good. Let's see if we can actually invade anywhere now. That is uh, still a no. Yeah. Still a no on that. And British Columbia is not a valid invasion target, I don't think. Although if I can get a good peace deal, I would gladly take it off of them. Like, hey, let's grab, let's grab Canada. Let's grab all of Canada. Um, so do we still have rebels in Nova Scotia or no? Because I remember they did try to get a rebellion there. Which would be very bad. Um, if France goes to war with us, then they do have colonies I want. And they are within reach now. So France... I, if France doesn't go to war with us this time, I want to try to provoke them next time. By using... Oh, we can decrease building time significantly. Increase torpedo readiness, good. Uh, four days W mortar, that's good. Yeah, okay, Nova Scotia is still rebelling. Uh, we damaged a German BC. Our submarine has been surprised by a Q ship, which is not at all good. Um, it does look like build times have gone down, I think. In Lake Michigan and Owasco class. So if we try to build... Uh, Alaska class now. Now it's nine months rather than ten. Okay then. Um, all right. Oh, we did move the one group to the Caribbean, and the group which is currently in the Caribbean, which is where are you? You guys, you need to move to Southeast Asia, right now. So that will be North American West Coast. It'll take a couple of turns, and then they'll get there. Okay. Torpedo protection four on ships now. Oh, nice. Yeah, we do need a new float plane scout. Yeah, this one's a bit better. We'll take it. We've crushed the rebels in Nova Scotia. Awesome. Um, they're dominating in the Caribbean apparently. What the shit? Small engagement off of Cuba. It's only a small engagement, and it's close to port. We'll take it. It's risky. We'll take it. We only got Colorado here though. Okay, come on, I hit space. Do we see anything? Now we see something. Go broadside, do whatever it is. It's a battleship, so... It is a Remillies class battleship. Colorado, you need to shoot at it. Yeah. Colorado, what's taking you so long? Open fire already. Flotilla attack now. Dear God, we're getting wrecked. We're getting mauled. There we go. Now we're scoring hits. Ow, Colorado. That was a long response time. Oh, but we've already knocked out two of its turrets. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Colorado, what shape are you in? Um, good shape. Uh, we lost one, we lost two of our turrets. Okay, so we have a significant decrease in firepower right now. We only have 10 10-inch guns firing versus its three 16-inch guns, I take it. Um, however, we have also launched our destroyer squadron at it. Um, 
And it does look like we are trying to sink it by uh, death of a thousand cuts. If this is all they have in this battle, though... Yeah, okay, just keep trying to knock it out. Mostly it's our forward guns which can fire it now anyway. Um, how fast can one of these things go? It's also a 30 knot capable ship, but hopefully the amount of damage we're doing it is slowing it down significantly. As we bombard it with 10 inch shells. <laughs> now, our, now our destroyers are there. Hello, Ramilly's class. You're on fire. You're getting torpedoed. How is it not dead yet? Is it dead now? I think it's dead. Is that not the only ship? Britain must have another ship somewhere. Alright, Colorado, hold fire for the moment. Uh, cancel that. Hold fire. The Romulus class is definitely dead. Where's the other enemy ship? Once you are out of range of it, you may open fire whenever you please. Squad Max is still 30 knots. We're going to order you to cruise speed. We need to get up to Santiago. Come on. Guys, get back here already. It's sunk. We have sunk it. It is sinking. You do not need to continue to spend your ammunition on it. There's the other ship. What are you? What are you guys? No. Two enemy battle cruisers. Shit. That is called get into port. Oh, for the moment, this is on my working, so... What the shit? How is this? Yeah. Alright, so Colorado, what sort of shape are you in? You currently have one... You, yeah, you have most of your guns firing. At it. Yeah, 17 10-inch guns. We can go a little bit more this way. Try to cross their T. Yeah. Shit. Colorado, run to Santiago now. Because they are going to hurt us really bad. Yes. Yes to all. So they're going to sink patrol boats, probably. Luce might struggle to get into port. Come on, Luce. You can make it. You can make it. You made it. Alright, so we sank an enemy battleship. Everything made it into port, so we're okay. And we definitely damaged an enemy battlecruiser, but it's going to escape. It'd be interesting to see how much we did to it. Yeah, we lost a... We, tr we traded a corvette. And a patrol boat corvette as well, so not even one which matters. For an enemy battleship. So Millie's was hit by 197 medium hits. Although a lot of those were 5 inch hits after the fact. But yeah. A lot of 10 inch hits. 10 inch critical electric power disabled. Rudder damage. Yeah. Just all of those hits. That was a lot of hits on that thing. Colorado. Medium damage and port. Yeah. Because we did take a couple turrets knocked out. Um, those 16 inch hits at the end. We did some damage to Neope. Caused a little bit of flotation damage. I'm assuming from belt extended hits. Probably. Um, it's probably an all or nothing ship. So, yeah. Um, got a couple destroyers which took light damage. And Good Hope escaped. So I think I'm going to need to move another couple CAs down there. And actually, maybe a CV. So I'm thinking, Enterprise, you are gonna move into the um, you're gonna move into the Caribbean. So that will leave Sar or Lexington, Saratoga, Hornet. Yeah, they'll leave three on the East Coast, one in the Caribbean, and, and two in Southeast Asia. Um, we do have four CVLs there in Southeast Asia, and then a CVL on the East Coast and two in the Caribbean. 
Um, so we do have flints in the Caribbean. Uh, it would be nice to get another CA in the Caribbean, though, um, given how that previous battle went. So right now it's only Colorado because the other one got sunk by a sub. Um, New Jersey's in Southeast Asia. Um, Arizona, you will be moved to order... Wait, no, we do have multiple in the Caribbean. It just didn't give me my Michigans. Thank you, game. Thank you so much for that unbalanced fight of one CA against three enemy heavy ships. But yeah. Actually, we'd look at the map. Why are they in the Caribbean so much? They can't sustain it. They can't sustain any of this. I have all the Caribbean territories. <laughs> Alright, so Colorado's going to take a, a turn to heal. And we should be okay. Um, we are going to get uh, one of our Des Moines back here very shortly. Alright, so our current Des Moines situation. Two on the east coast. You guys need to move to the North American west coast. Um, you guys are going to be in the South Pacific this turn. Baltimore's finisher reconstruction. Enemy ship has sunk a KE and another destroyer. We are losing so many of these ships. Um, convoy attack down here. Yeah, sure. True destroyer is unable to take part due to distance. Alright, so this is... Oh my god. Yeah, let's have multiple destroyers unable to take part. Sure! When our entire formation is destroyers. That sounds like a really good idea. Alright, so we got multiple contacts up here, which are probably the convoy. Shit. Yep, turn away, turn away, turn away. Turn away. Run away. Alright, so that's our goal. That was what I was trying to do. Um, Alright, how slow is Wrathborn now? 19 knots. Go down to 18 knots then. And just run away. We'll do some kind of swerves just to see if we can avoid getting spotted. By enemy aircraft. Alright, so this convoy we were unable to attack. It's going to get in, unfortunately. Um, yeah, in the scenario. Because we were just not able to do a lot. You know, you can't... You can't use four dis or two destroyers against a massive enemy destroyer force. It's just not going to work. Because um, of the whole distance to closest base thing. That, that's, that screwed me over. Basically. know where I can invade right now. I need my invasion range to get bigger. Now, under construction, uh, the second Des Moines is almost completed with her rebuild. Um, given how many destroyers we've been losing, I think it is time to probably build more Shaws as well. And I'm just going to order another four of them. Lexington has condenser trouble. Des Moines has finished her reconstruction, reduced dud rate. Uh, we lost a sub. We lost a sub. Auto resolve that. Damn it! Damn it! Wow, what was Wilmington? What was Wilmington? Wilmington. Why was the Tallahassee intercepting, you flippin' moron? Can hit the Brits hard enough to take Canada? Probably not. Wish I could, but probably not. <sighs> that is. Why was the Tallahassee doing that? It's annoying to not have one on foreign station as well, because that'll probably... That could mess up my foreign station requirements here. Really bad. In terms of ship sunk, what types... What destroyers have we been losing? So we lost a Mugford. We lost... Oh, those were earlier. That Mugford was earlier. So that... We, we lost a Dorsey. Oh, God. That's one of our modern ones. Great. Um... Okay, that was lost this war. No, no, that was lost last war. 
So we lost. Oh, that was lost in battle. Alright, so they've been taken out of small destroyers, I think. Or small sub-hunting destroyers. Which are in trade protection have been sinking. Um, so we're getting a lot of stuff done in like four to, four to five months, it looks like. And hopefully that should help our trade protection, which is rapidly diminishing. New Philippine scout types are ready for evaluation. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Uh, range favors the Curtis, definitely. Yeah, Curtis has the best range. I think the Curtis is the right choice. Hey, we sank a enemy Q-ship. And we lost uh, that. Oh, come on! Which one? Oh, we lost to Florida. God damn it. The problem with these CAs is that they're just so susceptible to subs. All right. This is risky. This is risky, given that their force is down here. All right. Aircraft, just get them all ready. Ready to strike. I know, that's a cruiser division. All right. So where we want to be is, we probably want to be by Nassau. Yeah, catapult launch float plane fighters. We probably want to be near port. So we, if we can, we want to try to knock out an enemy ship. That's something over there. Detected on, spotted on radar. That's ours. That's allied. Okay. Okay, good. So what we don't want to happen is... Good to know, good to know, good to know. Okay. Um... That is absurdly good to know. So these guys are just like one, I take it. Okay, so we will do a uh, coordinated strike. Get a fighter squadron ready. Get a torpedo bomber squadron ready. Get a dive bomber squadron ready. Launch it in this direction. Launch it there. Yeah. Now we go to our other carrier division. Um, so, yeah. Ooh, I should not have readied them all up like this. Um, let's uh, let's unready them. In this division, and then try again. Whenever the fighters do get ready, though. Wait, CV's over here. Good, 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 good. All right. Um, remaining group on Enterprise, ready up. Priority target, CV. Launch this way. Actually, they're probably moving this way. Launch there. Alright, carry division. You guys. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to reduce you guys down to half load. Wait, what? No. You were supposed to be six. Why did you not? All right. Sure. This is kind of glitchy, I think. Yeah, okay. Let's do one more turn and then just kind of see what we're stuck with here. Okay, so there we're doing everything. All right, so in Enterprise, yeah, we don't have many aircraft on Enterprise left. The other carrier division is still working on getting their aircraft back up. We've got a strike force going into where the enemy battle cruisers are. Um, those guys are going on cap. Yeah, okay. That's good. Put them on cap. There we go, there we go. Actually, you know what? Okay, so Santee... Oh, yeah, you guys launch here.
ready to unready and ready to flying. Okay, cool. Okay, we found something. Air combat. Eight friendly. Okay, so we're fighting something over there. So we have planes which are approaching enemy ships. Score to hit on something. Two hits. Two hits. We are also reporting a CV bomb hit. Interesting. Interesting. What are they sending against us? Okay, so we got a CV course over that way. Three battle cruisers. Oh, wait, no. These are the most recent reports. Alright, good to know. Alright, so... We might have damaged an enemy battle cruiser. These battle cruisers are to be sighted. They will be soon. Enemy battleships. Enemy battleships spotted. Eight Grumman Corsair approaching enemy ships. So we found something over here. CV bomb hit. Nice. Reporting. Please be good. Alright. We are firing upon the enemy battleships. Some Boeing Coronado. Hit something with the torpedo. Good. I'm hoping it's a carrier. Now, if things go really bad, we can always just retreat into port. And that's the idea. Installation 7 bomb hits. They are bombing the target here. Right now, though, we are shooting that Anson class. Using uh, Arizona and North Dakota. Anson class took some hits. Um, enemy ship unsighted is hit by multiple torpedoes. Three. Is that the same ship? Yes, it is. So we found something over there. It could be a carrier. Um, and if we're reporting those kinds of hits, there is a very, very good chance. Oh, whatever it is, is sunk. All right, so you guys ready to strike? Um, hmm. Do I want to try to hit the? I don't know. I'll just ready it. Okay. See, North Dakota took a hit, a heavy gun hit, I think. Uh, Arizona torpedo tubes hit. So right now we're scoring about as many hits as they are. It seems. So it looks like we're reporting a second battle cruiser to CVL bomb hit over there. All right, so it seems like we destroyed an enemy CV down here, or CVL. An enemy carrier is sinking, I think. Um. All right. Yeah, Enterprise doesn't have a lot ready at the moment. Now, I am going to turn around and head this way. And hope that that has lured them off. See if I can hit that Anson instead. What shape are my guys in? Yeah, not too badly hurt. Not too badly hurt so far. Wait, how much damage is it showing that Anson has? It's showing the Anson has heavy damage. Hit the Anson. Hit that Anson. If you can. Alright, CV wise. Enterprise has a strike ready. We could go for the CV or we could uh, try to hit the battleship over here. Just launch the strike that way. Alright, so you guys are not really ready yet. Yeah, okay. You're taking the opportunity to hit the Good Hope and Spartia, or Spartiate. On the other hand, we do not want... Oh, North Dakota limits flooding. North Dakota took a severe hit. We can only go 14 knots now. I 
right, so currently what we want to do is we want to try to keep these battle cruisers away from our carriers. What shape is North Dakota in? Still 14 knots. Which is... They're trying to get in. Crap. But if things go bad, you know, we are pretty near port. So it looks like the Spartiate has taken damage. Um, Arizona took a 4 half tall hit. Arizona... Are your four guns just not firing at them? North Dakota, what's going on with your guns? Are you, it's probably considered long range and they're wanting to fire like AG or something. It's probably what's going on. There we go. Are we torpedo bombing the CVL or the... Okay. So we're reporting hits on a carrier there. Alright, so on Enterprise, we can get another group ready. Um, that does exceed the deck load at the current. Uh, you, you can be two, you can be three, you can be two, you can be four, and you can be two. Um, you guys should probably be heavy load, though. Uh, you guys are going to ready up. Um, alright, so that's 21, so I'll drop that down to 9 then and get them ready. Santee has zero torpedoes remaining. There's no one damn... Okay then, um... Okay, North Dakota is really hurt at this point. North Dakota, you need to make straight for Nassau. Arizona, you're going to try to defend North Dakota as these guys run away. All right. No, nor keep North Dakota detached, you... Detach. Yes, yeah, send her into port. Unknown ship as CV. What? Oh, no, that's not a CV. No, that's a battle cruiser, definitely. Alright, the Enterprise Strike Group is ready. You will aim up here. You guys are also ready. And then launch up there. And then you launch there as well. Do you that sh ships actually stay headed for port? Or... Uh, not really. Okay. Okay, as soon as that strike is launched, though, you guys need to get into port. Yes. Yes, I do. Alright, um... CVLs. I'm taking manual control. Your goal is to head to Nassau. So right now... That was my main group. Enterprise, I can't take manual control of you. Yeah, you guys launch your strike. I should have said yes to all. Alright, we have enemy planes approaching enemy ships over here. Yes to all. Everyone get into port right now. Anything doesn't look like it. Right, 
Is Enterprise my main force right now? No. Who's my main force? Um, DD Bell is my main force? No. Is it the Light Cruiser Division? It is. You guys just turn tail and run to Nassau. We've definitely done some damage to them. That was what I was hoping to do. Uh, Enterprise actually has another strike ready. Just ready up literally everything you can. Alright. Um, so if we do all of these guys, how much is it? It's a little bit too much. Um, so I could drop out probably a fighter squadron and be okay. Alright, so all of you guys... That's a little bit too much. Um, yeah, okay, that fighter squadron gets dropped out. You guys are going to hunt all the way up here. Does Enterprise my squadron lead? Yeah. Enterprise needs to go back up to the south, though. Oh my god, why, why are my destroyers hunting them? No. I, I want disengagement ordered. The X class is down. Seriously, guys, get back into port. Alright. We have a strike approaching them. Scored a bomb hit on a battle cruiser, it looks like. And we scored a torpedo hit on one. Good. Now, the good thing is, any ship we damage here, I think, gets interned. Because Britain doesn't have any base capacity in this region. So hitting as many ships as possible is just what we want to do. Alright, there we go. All My fleet is in port now. My fleet made it to port without losses. Now we just wait for the battle to end and see how much we sank. Because it looks like we did manage to hit enemy carriers. Um, I'm guessing we sank at least a CVL. Um, we heavily damaged a battle cruiser and probably lightly to moderately damaged two more. Possibly heavily damaged a third. Could, could be a sunk battle cruiser, but I kind of doubt it. I think the enemy battle cruisers will escape. The enemy battle cruiser is just him. Oh, they had a they had a carrier, and it sank. Colossus, 57 aircraft. Yep, armored carrier. So it initially took an 1,000 pound bomb hit. Then it took a torpedo from Enterprise. Took two more from the CVL, and then then an 1,000 pound bomb hit. It was sinking. Took another 1,000 bomb hit. Two more torpedoes, and then two more bomb hits. Ouch. Um. So suit ledge took heavy damage. So it took 31 medium hits, as well as 4 light hits and 3 torpedo hits. And it also had leaks in aging structure, so this is an old ship. Which means it's having some issues. So yeah, torpedoes from Enterprise, looks like that was the final attack. So it took 3 torpedo hits at the end, which definitely did stuff. North Dakota was very badly damaged by 29 16-inch shell hits. So good job on North Dakota. That was a lot to survive. Uh, good hope... Um, Good Hope was damaged mostly by medium hits. It looks like otherwise she's pretty okay. It was mostly her structure, but, you know, there's a lot of 10-inch hits on her. Um, Anson also took medium damage, took a bomb hit. So that was the Battlecruiser bomb hit at the end. Or maybe not, no, that was towards the beginning. So she took two torpedo hits from Enterprise and then a bomb hit from Enterprise. And that was the initial attack. 
Um, Arizona took light damage. 16 heavy hits and only light damage, so she held up pretty well. And then Foil, who, um, yeah, our destroyers hunted down and sank. I think Luce was, Luce was heavily damaged. It got hit by a 16, or it got near missed by, it got near missed by a 16 in shell, then hit by a 16 in shell. This destroyer took a 16 in shell and soldiered on. Good job, Luce. Good job. You survived that somehow. And then Bell took a number of 5-inch hits, it looks like, and was pretty damaged, but was able to return to port. Um, their goal was to take out the installation. They did manage a number of bomb hits on it, but they were unable to sink it because their CV kind of um, sank. Uh, they actually have a good good amount of anti-aircraft on their CV, too. How does Enterprise's CV, or Enterprise's aircraft com or stuff compare? Um, her guns are apparent. How are her guns not to a purpose? I swear I made her guns to a purpose! It's like this game's trolling me by having me set my guns to dual purpose and then not giving me them as dual purpose guns. Okay, then. That was good. Britain is down to three CVs now. They are just building CVs, it seems. Uh, 57, 58 aircraft CVs. Oh my god. This is absurd. Britain's out building us in terms of CVs, and we're stuck with these guys. On the other hand, I would not be entirely surprised if Britain is about to have, like, uh, three ships interned, or three battle cruisers interned. Uh, somewhere here because they can't get them back. Um, they don't have any Caribbean holdings anymore because I took them all from them. Uh, so I'm going to be right back. I, I need to use the bathroom, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, let me just, maybe the ship's in the service page is a little better. Okay, there we go. Be right back.
All right, I am back. So yeah, that went that went well. We did manage to sink one of the British aircraft carriers. There are a lot of British ships sunk here. We've been at war a lot with them. But yeah, knocking out Colossus is good. That being said, I might need faster CVs. Now, here's a current thought of... I'm probably going to... Oh no, no, I only have the Santees in the Caribbean. Alright, so... I think I need another carrier in the Caribbean. And that will be... Uh, Lexing well, that will be Lexington. Especially if the British are making a major push down there. Yeah. Because uh, they can't really threaten me. But... Air groups wise. So, what bases are here? Uh, Santiago, Guantanamo Bay. I think I need to build us. Can you show us the Vermont? Oh, you didn't see the Vermont? Um, Vermont's commissioned now. First of all. That's Vermont. She is along the North American East Coast right now. Yeah. That's Vermont. One of my, uh... One of my 28 gunners, which I now only have seven of, because I wound up a, one of them got sunk. Um, and I also managed to lose... What was it? So which other one got sunk this war? Yeah, Florida. So... Yeah, um... That happened. So two of my large CAs got sunk. Um... Which is annoying. But so far we're trading pretty well, and I think we're going to see messages that a bunch of ships got interned uh, this turn. So, oh, aircraft types, are we working on anything? No, we're not. Um, so we got a new floatplane scout in development, a couple. Uh, we want a medium bomber, probably. Um, I'm going to say bomb load and reliability. And... I do need air bases. All right, so Miami. Yeah, Miami auto at aircraft too. I would not want to face that in anything other than a BB. Even a even a battleship would could do a lot to that. So these guys are not going to be medium bombers. They are going to be torpedo bombers probably. Uh, you know what? No, they could be medium bombers. Um, yeah. In Miami. Now, the other thing I want to do is build fortification. Guantanamo Bay. I want an air base at Guantanamo Bay. I want an air base in uh, Santiago as well. Probably don't need one in Habana. Um, air base in Kingston would be good. Sometimes battles will take place up here, so I might do a uh, port de pa. Build an air base at, uh, you know what? No, Port Port au Prince, because Port de Pa is a little closer to uh, Guantanamo, and then it might be good to get uh, an air base here at New Providence and another one in Freeport. And then that would give me decent stuff around there. So Britain does have more in the South Pacific, um, which is a little worrying. Um, we still got domination on the West Coast right now. I some thought about maybe sending something in Southeast Asia into the South Pacific. So what's in Southeast Asia at the moment? Um, all right, we are going to send probably the Plainfield class carriers as well as maybe one of the Alabamas. There. Although, you know what? No. We'll send you guys into the... We'll just send one of the plain field. We'll just send plain field into the South Pacific. Um, 
in addition to that, I think Kentucky, no, Nebraska will move down to the South Pacific as well. And then what else should go down to the South Pacific? Um, so, okay, so we have Galveston's there. Unfortunately, these two Galveston's here are going to have to be rebuilt now. And then, not too Des Moines along the west coast. We got the Huntingtons along the west coast. So the Huntingtons are just going to move down into the South Pacific. And then any destroyers on the west coast. Um, we'll, we'll move the Stocktons down into the South Pacific. Uh, Germany just went fascist on their own. Honestly, that's just what happened. Um, Alright, so I will say, in terms of what's getting the radar sets, it's the game's not making bad choices, you know. More modern seals. Although I'd like the Clevelands to get better ones. No, wait, no. Not Raider. Active Fleet. Radar. No. Okay, so what I would want is... You should probably get better Radar. And then we'll give it to one of the Clevelands as well. Unfortunately, that screwed the entire list up. Hold on as I restart the game. Because the entire list is now screwed up because I decided to do radar stuff. Actually, I should be able to turn display capture on here in just a moment. Um because the game is actually booting up. But I probably won't until I'm actually back in game again. Come on, game. Come on, I know you're booting. I know you're booting. My computer's just... being a shit. Um, USA 1939. Come on. Come on. Load back in. There we go. All right, now everything's sorted again. Ship's under construction. Uh, unfortunately, we do kind of have to wait three turns and stuff. Midnight here, minute out. All right, see you then. Yeah, it's it's only 7.03 here. I probably don't want to go pat too far past, like, 7.30. Um, yeah, I can't afford that right now. Advanced centerline... Ooh, centerline torpedo tubes allowed on ships up to 7,000 tons. That's good. Sigourney has been sunk by a mine. Great. Um, enemy coastal raid down here. After that last battle, they're not going to have as much. Alright, so we only have CLs. On the other hand, two of them are flints. And then we have Milwaukee, which is kind of shit. But So Milwaukee actually does have an improved search radar, though. As a Reno. This might actually make night fighting pretty good. So they are probably going for that installation, yeah. Oh, shit. Wait, is that them? No, that looks like... Yeah, that looks like a little scout. Do we see anything? Do we see anything? Where are the British coming from? Where are the British? Those look like little escort ships just hanging out about. Britain, where are you? He's not seeing any fighting yet anywhere. D.D. Stevens reports an unknown radar contact. Nope, that's just an escort. That wasn't why it stopped. Wait. Nope, that's an escort. What's shooting at what? Okay, over there. Go full speed over there. Alright, so that is a merchant over here. 
for whatever reason, it's a radar contact rather than... Oh, it's probably just detected on both radar and actually identified. So we saw... Nice shot. That's just a patrolling destroyer which did that. Come on. Where are they? Where's this fight coming from? They went down this way. There's no way they can get across here. The minefield's gonna just be too large. Is that them? Nope, that's not them. That's a merchant. Okay, so that... What? Britain? You'd never faced my main force. You never did. No. You lost your destroyer. You lost your 1500 ton destroyer to an old 600 ton destroyer. And... Another old 600 ton destroyer. If I look at what sank you... Okay, so you took... Yeah, so you took a torpedo from a 600 ton destroyer with, guess what, a single torpedo tube, and then you proceeded to take a light shell hit from a destroyer with a single 4 inch gun, and sank. That is embarrassing, Britain. That is... Wait, what's with the fire control? Local only, two of two? You didn't even put a director on the damn thing? How did my 600-ton destroyers have a better fire control than the... than the British destroyer, which didn't actually have any? That's probably why it got sunk. Because its fire control was shit and it didn't have any radar. <laughs> Although my ships didn't have any radar either. Uh, the two which sank it. So yeah, um... I'm going to need to see when Test was built and when Roe and Perkins were built. Because, good job on Roe and Perkins! Good job on those two destroyers. That was... excellent. So yeah, let's go down take a look at Roe and Perkins. They are Drayton class. Roe was built in 1903 and Perkins was built in 1903. Two 1903 destroyers just sank a, um, 1918 destroyer. Honestly, that is kind of old. 1918 is pretty old. Um, let's see. I do, my 1918 destroyers are still in frontline service, though, the Gregory class. Um, actually, my 1914 destroyers are still in frontline service. Um, they probably won't be after this war. Um, but yeah. My main destroyers right now are my 2000, or my 1925 destroyers forward, um, but yeah, it is those 1921s that are the kind of the main, still in service. Alright, so, hmm, yeah, we need to get more, we need to get better reparations from this. Hey, better dive bomber model. Awesome. Better range, better speed, no more bomb load improvement. See, German AMC has been interned. I forgot to check if any ships got interned. Um, cruiser action over here. We'll have to look at the messages. Alright, so. Is it Intel reports? It would be... So June. Uh, as you know, let's just look at Britain. Ships. Did they get interned? How the hell did their battle cruisers not get interned? Because we look at Germany. Yeah, it shows their. That is interned. How the hell did Britain get away with those battle cruisers not being interned? They should not have gotten away with those battle cruisers not being interned. How the hell did they get away with that? Either way, um... Yeah, I guess right now war is going uh, pretty well for us. 
Bloody stalemate. Finished airbase construction. Yeah, sure, copy it from Airbase Way Away, which doesn't have anything at it, because I don't want Airbase Way Away to have anything at it. Because Airbase Way Away is in a stupid location. So we're just copying them from nothing. Three Corvettes commissioned. Good early air search radar. Ooh. Oh, nice. Uh, new Thunderbolt. Uh, cruiser action down in New Providence. Yeah, sure. Attack enemy ships in battle. Long range? Um. I don't know. Hey, look. It's our CLs. Here. Okay. Unknown radar contact spotted. That's gotta be it. Sill towards it, whatever it is. Oh, Curtis Thunderbolts. So those are those planes. Say, of the Blucher class. 12 10 inch guns. Oh, dear God. It's moving slow. At the moment. Go broadside. Use your superior... Oh, come on! Hit it for Pete's flippin' sake. There we go. Why did we not get any CAs? Currently, we are not winning this fight. Pull away, pull away. Launch a flotilla attack now. Come on, score torpedo hit. Nice! Alright, Spokane. Spokane's on fire. Spokane, detach. Milwaukee, defend Spokane. The Beluka class is now very damaged. Alright, so how damaged is she? Still in medium damage, so she might have had... Um, she might have torpedo protection. However, she certainly slowed for the moment. She just seems to be speeding up somewhat. Stevens is going in. Stevens has launched torpedoes. Come on, Spokane. Get your fires under control, damn it. You're not flooding right now, which is good. So we're still hitting that blucher. So yeah, that blucher was able to badly damage Spokane, but it looks like our destroyer attack has managed to very badly damage the blucher. If we had some aircraft in the region, this might not actually be that bad. Unfortunately, it does look like they are scoring hits on our destroyers. I don't know what our destroyers are doing. There we go. We are scoring hits with Milwaukee, which is obsolete at this point. Milwaukee is completely obsolete. Alright, that blue curve, it's uh, aft end is pretty damaged. Alright, so Spokane is... Or not Spokane, Flint. Wait, no, what? That's... Oh, we have another cruiser here. So Flint's okay. Spokane is heading back to port, it looks like. After she took a lot of damage. I'm going to order another flotilla attack here. We need to try to knock this uh, blucher out. That's probably an ammunition thing. Blucher class hit multiple times. We're still reporting heavy damage on it. I'm trying to lure it into the island. 
Because if we can push it into the island, there's not a lot of place for it to go. Given how heavily damaged it is. Kind of funny that a uh, old Reno class is hunting down something like this. This is this has been a really strange war, I will say that. Hey, we actually have aircraft in this area. Oh, these are the ones from Miami, probably. Right? Good job, medium bombers. You did shit all. All right. So the Luker is now pressed up against the shoreline. Destroyers, it's your time to strike. Destroyers? Come on. Hit it. Hey, Flint, please help. They found the range on Milwaukee. That's not a good situation. Does Milwaukee... Oh, Milwaukee's launching torpedoes. Come on, stay on the current course. Just see if that'll see if that'll hit it. Come on. Nope. Milwaukee four aft tall hit. It sank. How'd we sink it? Um, what was the final hit? Okay, so yeah, it was just having continuous flooding. So yeah, we scored a hit. Did... Okay, so Spokane made it back to port. Heavily damaged. Um, so what happened there? Did we... Oh no, we did, did still have rounds left. Um, I don't know what was going on with Milwaukee. Why Milwaukee was reporting stuff. Um... Oh, that might have been Spokane entering port. So Spokane might have gotten into port at the same time. I don't know. That could have been the case. It might have not been the case. Um, so Spokane survived. The enemy CA died. You, or the, Germany has now lost a heavy cruiser. Alright, so we can withstand this... Uh, this uh, continued budget this month, which is going to allow us to get more stuff into service. Um, so, if I am correct, um, all the new bases we have do not have planes at them. So, um, paste air group there. So we're not going to have too much at these bases, I guess. So it'll be some float planes, some fighters, and some torpedo bombers. It's not a lot, but it'll give me something. Enterprise in the yard with engine problems. The ships is finished their reconstruction. Good. Uh, North Dakota is damaged. Yeah, if they have nothing in the region except that, do it. Hey, look, we're making money again. Um... And we should be getting more destroyers in service here soon. So, yeah, all of you guys, go on to trade protection. Uh, I need to continue building probably more Lake Michigans here. So order another four of those, order another four of Wascos. In terms of subs, give me another two, maybe. So that I can kind of just keep my sub count up. Actually, no, give me four coastals, too. That would be good. Alright. Intrepid's commissioned. Awesome. Torpedo and damage enemy battleship. Enemy coastal raid over here. Um, accept. Yeah, they can't challenge our forces. Good. Alright, so... We need to develop a new carrier, I think. Um, so, with the Intrepid... Honestly... I need to make him faster. So we'll go 29 knots. Then... Just need to name the Franklin class. Okay, cool. Um, 
We're not going to increase its armor any. Uh, it does have the 5-inch guns. We're going to increase the ammunition of them. Uh, other than that, I don't think I can really get any of the armor up. Maybe belt down a bit to 2 inches. Eh, keep the belt at 3. You know what? We'll bring the belt down to 2 and let it go 30 knots. No, we need a faster carrier. And if we're going to get a faster carrier, then maybe I should get the flight deck armor up to 5. And this will just be more expensive to build. Um, still only 48 planes, because that's what I'm allowing myself. Um, maybe it would be good to have a little bit of hangar side armor. Nope. Can't really afford it. This should offer some protection. We need torpedo defense to go higher, though. Um, I'm just going to have to completely redesign the visual of this, though. Or, you know, we just open the Intrepid design, do this, go to 30 or 29 knots, and then just make a gradual improvement here. Like this. Toggle those, give it more ammunition. Um, yeah, that does allow for a little bit of future proofing as well. I'm going to save it as the Franklin class then. Okay, we've commissioned a new sub. With us gaining. Yeah, keep pushing. Close to mastering that. Good. Um, awesome. Better flying boat. What improved about it? Uh, they improved the toughness slightly. New flying boat. So, compared to the Tiger Hat B, it's not quite as tough. Maximum speed similar. Range is similar to the two we have bomb loads. Sim bomb loads a little better. We'll take it. Uh, we lost a Kate. We lost a Corvette. All right. Commission three subs. Breeze is commissioned. New bomber prototypes. There we go. Now we can actually get some decent medium bombers here. Um, and these ones can carry torpedoes. Hooray. So, uh, which medium bomber type do we want? So, range-wise, range and speed would favor the Lockheed. Uh, toughness favors Lockheed. Maneuverability does not favor the Lockheed. Maneuverability favors the Curtis. The Boeing is... Uh, Honestly, as slow as the Curtis is, I'm thinking the Curtis might be the best of these three. The more I look at it. Because that low maneuverability on the Lockheed, I think, is going to make it much harder to actually hit with torpedoes. So, we will probably take the Curtis then. Damn it. That chip is damaged. Alright, yeah, lay down Franklin. So it looks like we're not actually going to build a New Mexico now. That design's just kind of sitting there, not doing anything. Get me more subs. We need to defeat German subs. Or German sub building. Um, and it looks like we're not going to be able to do that. Um, oh, right. Uh, Intrepid needs an air group. Trippin does not have one. Copy air group from Enterprise. Paste air group on Intrepid. Alright, cool. So if we look at the map, Invasion Range still hasn't improved. Um, CV Intrepid has done that. Connect hits in the yard with engine problems. Yeah, okay. That's another one of those guys. I really hope we can get our CA against one of them. Advances in torpedo technology. Ooh, more reliability. Increases maximum carrier size. Okay. Um, we have sunk the British ship. Sunk the British battle cruiser. Good hope. Good job. Uh, Colorado is damaged. Bremen has been interned. Yes, that's nice. Small engagement down here in Jamaica. It's only a small engagement, and we do have torpedo bombers just all in that region now. Nope, they didn't want to. Um, 
let's design a better Shaw class. Alright, so yeah, you just... Maybe more ammunition. And use of the additional AA gun. Yeah, okay. New destroyer class. And we'll start building some of them here soon. Commission another sub. Um, we're bleeding so many destroyers here, though. Cruiser action down at Puerto Rico. Oh, I might have forgotten to build air bases there. I'm going to decline this one. They've just got too much in the region. Alright, so if we look at the map here. Um, yeah, so Britain has moved their main force over here at Puerto Rico. Build fortification, air base. Build one at San Juan, then. Yeah, any of the Puerto Rico ones are fine. You, over here at the Antilles, build an air base at uh, Fort de France. And let's, uh, let's see. So what is in the Caribbean right now? And why do we only have one CV? Because I thought we had two CVs in the Caribbean. Um, Caribbean. You're in the Caribbean. We only have one CV in the Caribbean. Wow. I thought I sent Lexington down there. Why did you not move Lexington? Go into the Caribbean. Honestly, get Intrepid in the Caribbean as well. You know what? No. Intrepid's still new and working up. Move Saratoga into the Caribbean. And then... Um, okay, so in the Caribbean we have Michigan, North Dakota. Um, uh, new Jersey, unfortunately, is going to need a rebuild. So we're going to have to give New Jersey a rebuild right now. Um... Tertiary guns are going to have to be 4 inch guns. Why is it not allowing them to be dual purpose? Seriously, game? Seriously? That's just not allowed on cross deck firing ships, but I thought on these guys. Yeah, I have 25 inch dual purpose guns in the Kentuckys. New Jersey. Why can you not get dual purpose tertiaries? Are your current tertiaries dual purpose? Yes, they are. New Jersey, what the shit? What is wrong with you? Oh, yeah, they are dual purpose. Never mind, I'm stupid. Um, I thought that was director firing, not dual purpose. Okay. Okay, there we go. And that should be good. That will make New Jersey a much stronger warship. But yeah, she's got to go in for a rebuild now. Uh, thankfully, the carrier SX will be done now. Commission three subs, good. SX is commissioned. Naval guns, who cares about 17-inch guns? Wow, I lost a lot of VP due to that. Um, why the shit are you down there, and why are you intercepting cruisers? Can I stop losing my Tallahassee cruisers because they're intercepting shit when they're on foreign fucking station? Are they... How are they intercepting raiders on foreign station? It's so annoying. Um, that, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to move the Huntingtons over to uh, foreign station after this, unfortunately. Um, oh, well. That'll be okay. Alright, so, build me another carrier of the Franklin class, then. We will name it Wasp, so we have the second carrier USS Wasp, then. Um, Alright, air groups. SX does have the same air group, good. 
All right. What's the situation? They're no longer dominating that region because they just can't anymore. Terry is commissioned. A uh, new Japanese dive bomber. I need to get a new plane ready, probably a new fighter. Oh, come on! I lost another... Another one? Which one was Indiana? Which one was Indiana? Oh, it wasn't Indiana! Great! Great! Oh my god, the enemy subs are wrecking me! Wow! That hurts. So, another class of armored cruiser with one lost. Just like one of each class. So if one sinks from a class, the rest of the class seems immune. I'm going to eat those words next turn, aren't I? Alright, get me another couple subs. Alright, so... How's the situation look? Yeah, they're still mostly occupying there in the Caribbean. Um, so there's some thought about trying to move maybe these guys down with, into the Caribbean. And the Michigans, I'm going to move back up from the Caribbean to the North American East Coast. I think Southeast Asia with Alabamas will be fine for the moment. Nothing much seems to be happening there anyway, so... Britain doesn't really seem to want to send ships to Southeast Asia. And we can't really invade anything, so it's not that important right now. Hey, airbase on Puerto Rico done. Of course, they're copying from airbase way away, which I don't want them to do. Um... Nova was hoping to get better, uh, better stuff. Oh, hey, reduces horsepower requirements. That's good. Ah, uh, sunk Rathborn, sunk a ship. Come on. Ooh, oh God, they have sent a massive force to blockade the eastern USA now. Convoy defense out here. We have two carriers. This is risky. This is risky as hell. And it's everything. Oh shit. After I moved everything down, this is what I'm going to have to deal with. Okay, okay, okay then. Um, all right. Get all these guys ready now. So the good news is... Yeah, I can launch search planes. Launch them from everything, yes. I did not expect Britain to make this move. They're trying to blockade me, I think. Alright. Do we see anything? So our float planes are launched. Come on, find find them. Find them wherever they are. Last time one of these things happened, it went pretty badly. Now, we could always run to Norfolk if we need to. Or Philadelphia. Uh, in that case, we'd have to ditch the convoy. Alright, come on. Oh, shit. They're coming up that way. You guys, move up north. You guys move down. What have we spotted? Battlecruisers and CVs. All right, all right. Okay, so what's ready? Um, strike on Intrepid. We'll need to go for battleships. No, no, you will go for CVs. All right. So, on you, Hornet. 
You will also go for CVs in that region. The other group on Hornet will go for uh, battleships down here. This battle might be a mistake. Okay, we got more battle cruisers spotted down here. This is a major, major, major enemy force. If possible, you guys need to move up north. Alright. They're here. They're here. There's something here. CV bomb hit, CV bomb hit. Good report. Shit. BB bomb hit. Alright, so that's battleships. We have, uh, Vickers. We have dive bombers here. So they're trying to strike us. Um. We're losing aircraft. They're. Tr okay, so that's. Not it. That's not this strike yet. Now, this is this strike, I think. Devastator, CV fires, CV fires. Say Montana. So, we shot down an enemy fighter here with uh, Montana. Heavy aircraft one. This. So, our strike, I don't think, did too much. Looks like something's still down there. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, they know where these guys are. Yeah, okay. Very limited amount of aircraft we can toss up from the carriers. Shit. Heart limits flooding. Radford bomb hit. Damn it, they hit our destroyers. I think we gotta move north. You guys are gonna turn to Philadelphia. Without this battle's going, we cannot keep it up. Damn it! Yes. Damn it. Alright, I don't know what Jacob Jones was. Yeah, I was expecting to have to counter them in the Caribbean. I did not expect them to go, hey, let's go back to America. Alright. See, Montana took a... Okay, so hitting Montana, but it's not doing a lot. Heart limits flooding still. So it looks like that strike is done with. Oh god. Are they attacking us again? Yeah, they are. Yep. More dive bombers. Maybe bomb hit on Montana. Nope. Olympia bomb hit. Oh, God. No. They're just wrecking us. Alright. Uh, carrier aircraft. How are you guys doing? Are you guys still trying to land planes or did, have you recovered yet? Okay, that's Cap from the Curtis Commandos. So... Dive bomber, dive bomber, torpedo bomber, fighter. Torpedo bomber, torpedo bomber, fighter. Ready up. And then elsewhere, okay, so you still have these guys who are unready. Ready them.
these guys are unready. I need to repair. Just, yeah, start rapidly readying aircraft up, please. We are going to need to prioritize hitting enemy CVs, I think. Okay. There we go. An actual strike is now ready. Alright, so that's a strike from Hornet. It's not very big. Um, priority target CV. Yeah, you need to probably hit around here. As well, launch Intrepid Strike 2. Something approaching one of our forces. Yep. How are they getting shit into the carrier division like that? How the hell did they predict right where we were going to be? Take off the planes now. Get them off. Get them off the carriers. Intrepid's hit. Intrepid took two torpedo hits. Crap! Alright. Intrepid. Stand down. We don't want any fire on you. How fast can you move? 23 knots. Yeah, you guys have to go back. Still. Caldwell is still, like, sitting there really badly damaged. She might get finished off. This was a bad idea. This is a horrible idea. Did we get the extra strike underway at the very least? Looks like it. Yeah, okay, Caldwell. Caldwell was just too damaged. Took a bomb hit and sank. So that's two destroyer losses. Crap. Okay, so that's this group. They've gotta have their all their carriers involved here. Alright, so they are approaching enemy ships. We have a group approaching us. CV bomb hit on something over here. We are reporting a bomb hit on an enemy CV. My current hope is to try to lure them to the coast. Looks like we have another group of aircraft coming in. Yep. Trap, we can only move that fast. Crap damage, come on. I think we warded them away. Or they just didn't do a lot. More aircraft approaching. Seriously. Oh shit, we had CVLs too. Oops. So, she took a... Yeah, ready to strike. Honestly, you know what? As soon as you can, just launch it in this direction. Damn it. Alright, so... Okay, yeah, Nacelle's squadrons are currently unready, so... Come on. My singer is going into the enemy ships for some stupid reason. And yeah, no, your current goal is just to get back to uh, Philadelphia as quickly as you can. Because they are just bombarding the shit out of us.
Oh. In Ingram has spotted an enemy ship. That's important news. Alright, so... Hornet doesn't have a lot ready. You know, can't get a lot ready on, uh... Well, you know what? No. Fling it. Fling it that way. Just fling it that way. Yeah, honestly, priority target CVs. Do it. Just launch now. So the current goal is to hang out around... Philadelphia. So I think we launched the strike successfully. Can I get some avoiding torpedoes? Amsterdam's avoiding torpedoes. Amsterdam's hit. How bad? How bad? How slow is Amsterdam right now? <sighs> 16 knots. Um, current, yeah, max speed, 16. Damn it, how many torpedoes did they launch at us? Alright, go down to cruise speed, just to try to get back to Philly, Philadelphia. Hopefully, hopefully soon they won't be able to conduct m more flight operations, and hopefully they're so focused on us that they don't go for the merchants. Unfortunately, it looks like this group here... Oh god. Oh hey! We're attacking something. Hey, we scored torpedo hits on something! Good! Good job! Good job! Four torpedo hits! Hold on, are those all on the same vessel? Yes! No! Two different vessels. Two different vessels. That one's slightly different. Um, Alright, so we've definitely damaged something down there. But yeah, we gotta just continue. We gotta get to Philly. Looks like that group missed. So what shape is, uh... Which one got hit? So Olympia had some, has some damage. Amsterdam took the hit. Amsterdam's healed. Uh, how fast can Amsterdam move? Still only 16 knots. Ah, oh, dear God. That was... That was very bad. Alright, just keep them going. It looks like we're gonna get into Philly. Okay, Ingraham was down there. Yeah, okay, Ingraham was escorting them. Okay, you know what? You guys. How many planes do you have ready? An uh, Intrepid and Hornet. Not enough. Yeah, you guys just go straight into Philly. There you go, now it's nighttime. Honestly, that might just be sufficient enough. Nope, they have found the convoy. It looks like. Did they? Or no? No, they didn't! We torpedoed an enemy battlecruiser retiring from the engagement. So we lost three destroyers, which is not good. Uh, marginal victory. They got survivors picked up. We damaged an enemy battleship and an enemy battlecruiser and an enemy carrier. It looks like... Okay, so we scored three torpedo hits on Repulse, and it just didn't do enough. Um, nope, took two. Uh, Intrepid took... Oh yeah, Intrepid was our ship. Intrepid took two. Um, Seal Amsterdam took one, but was able to survive. What happened to uh, Ark Royal? She took a single bomb hit. Single thousand pounder. The sow took a hit. Yeah, so they had four CVs here versus our two.
All right, so on... But we were able to protect the force, even though we did lose some destroyers. Uh, so, in terms of CVs, what went wrong? So we have two in Southeast Asia right now. Honestly, I gotta open these designs for a rebuild here. So their main guns were seven inches before. Um... So these were designed to be more cruiser CVs. There is some thought about removing the 7-inch guns, which is what I will probably do. Um, so you're not going to have any secondaries here. But, yeah, you're going to have your turrets reduced down to 2 inches, and then you are going to get um, 2 more, or more guns. So, G, H... No, not H. G needs 1. E needs a double. K, not L. T. There you go. And all those will be dual purpose. So that'll give us a good amount of anti-aircraft fire on these carriers. Um, yeah. Other than that, um, I think we need more medium anti-aircraft guns. Or more anti-aircraft guns in general. Um... Let's go, let's increase the number of rounds too. And there we go, that'll be the rebuild on the Langley's. Alright, so we had Intrepid. That's our toga. Yeah, okay, so we sent too many to the Caribbean. Um, move Enterprise back up to the North American East Coast. Honestly, no. Keep keep Enterprise in the Caribbean. Um, Alright, cancel ordered moves. Or move her back and then cancel ordered moves. Is that good? No? Yeah, okay, that canceled her move. Good. Oh, my scientists are getting really bad for whatever reason. Alright, you two need to move to the North American East Coast now. We need protection on the North American East Coast. So what's what was moved to the Caribbean? Uh, you guys, you guys were moved to the Caribbean. You guys need to move back up to the North American East Coast now. Stat. We need more protection there because we are currently being blockaded. All right. Uh, one more turn. Let's do one more turn. SX is finished for working up. Charleston has condenser issues. Baltimore has condenser issues. Two Corvettes are commissioned. Twigs is commissioned. Um, that gives you more attention, or yeah, give it publicity. Like it's gonna, like it's gonna matter. Improves invasion capability. Awesome. Uh, Seal Drayton. Seal Rally is in a mine. Damn it! I'll have to check which one Drayton is. Alright, uh, C.L. Drayton, which one were you? You are a, one of the Huntingtons, so they are sinking our old cruisers, so that, with, uh, Drayton down, means that Olympia's probably the next, uh, foreign service cruiser. Dear God. Um, or, you know what, no, I'd probably take the o Oaklands as the next foreign service cruisers, although they are decently armed. Um, yeah, alright. New Jersey will be will complete her refit in a month. Um, we did get some destroyers in service, and these guys are all going to go on trade protection, and that should hopefully get our trade protection up. But I think for now we're going to call it. So we are going to see how we continue to do in this war. It is 1940. Hopefully we can get out of this war soon. Um, so I'll probably start taking options to try to get out of it rather than to continue it. There is one more thing I want to check before I go, and that is the invasion range capability. Uh, it's not extended enough for us to grab any British colonies, unfortunately, so we can't actually take any. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I guess I will uh, see you guys next time then. Uh, bye.